Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony radio program. <laughs> I'm Jim Norton. And uh, in studio, we have Nick DiPaolo. Hi, Jimmy. We also have uh, Stunt Brain and Daniel, as well as Gregory and Anthony. Thank you, Jimmy. Here at the Opie and Anthony radio program. That's a fine introduction back Certainly to is. the program. That's, specialty. that's the best part of Ted the Ghost Hunter when he used our names. Oh, Gregory yeah, and yeah, Ted Anthony. and Proper names. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the studio, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> no, are you agreeing with us or disagree? Oh, what? I was laughing on the way oh. in here. We should have got you in a little earlier because that that clip is. Uh, no, this is early now. Believe me, but that's perfect for you. The whole John McCain uh, <laughs> thing, whatever you want to call it. We should play one more time just to set it up. Yeah, I I, lo I can't get enough of this. I love these bumbling clips but, where you just can't. I can listen to it a thousand times, just get all embarrassed. It just shows you, though, how full of crap all of them are. Like Jimmy yes. said, halfway through, you just said, boy, I screwed that up. But they're in such politician mode. Yep. They keep, oh, i got to plow through this. And no, just they, go, well, I'm no. 72, I'm tired. <laughs> and Vietnamese guys stabbing my nuts for like five years. You know what I mean? <laughs> Give me a break over here. <laughs> they can't have real moments ever. These no, guys. That's, no, right. Ever. that's right. That's exactly right. Everyone it. messes up. Oh, my God, I didn't mean to say that. You're right. You're just they've gotten, you're walking on eggshells. and Yeah, they've gotten so bad over the years with uh, with this. They can't show a human side. It's only going to get worse. Yeah, yeah. But, but, well, Blame they're me. so afraid that... Anything they say is going to be picked apart because it is. That's right. You know, you got every uh, jackass on the news just picking apart every word you say. We do. We hang on every word. Yeah. I've been going over to this uh, strategy room at Fox. It's a website show. It's great. I mean, it's like the only personality sitting around the table. And we, but you, I'm there for a couple hours, and you do. We're analyzing every every <laughs> word, word, every comma, every. It's, who would want to put themselves through that? Yeah. I mean, I mean do you really? Where everything is at. I in one day, not even a day. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't take a, a few minutes. I would be he out of contention. <laughs> I would just be. There's no way he can run for dog catcher. I'd be nothing right. my, done. My wife can bring back stuff that I said yesterday, yeah. or two days ago, and yeah. torture me with it. I can't imagine having every news uh, outlet, you know, just just under a microscope. It's every like, word. How do, they do it. There'd be somebody, you know, videotaping me in my car and just reading. Look, you could read his lips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nancy, he's saying. Nancy. Right. Nancy. He's accusing someone of being a nitpicker. <laughs> I think a ninny. Somebody that's driving real slow in front of him. Wow. Something about that. Look, yeah, they're a chip. <laughs> let's let's set this up again. So, Representative what? Mirtha? It says Western PA is a racist area. This is the original clip. He's a dink, too. I wish you'd... No question. Western Pennsylvania is a racist area. And when oh, I say a racist area, I mean, they, they, well, the older, older people are hesitant. You know, they slow in, in uh, uh, seeing change, real, real change. And this guy was speaking on Obama's behalf? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then John McCain, obviously, you got to run with this. Well, like, now oh my he's God, got, I got him. I got so, him. So his peeps go to John and go, John, look at that. We got this clip. This guy's calling uh, yeah, Pennsylvania racist. You get up there and you use that. They will cheer for you. And he had him. All he had to do was, was give the correct answer. And then he turned into Billy Babbitt from Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> <Right. laughs> he, really, he really was smoother. <laughs> I d d d disagree, Mac. McCain started punching his own genitals as they dragged him away. <laughs> Who, Billy? Who made you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It, it, he did a Billy Buckner. He did a Billy Buckner. Oh, yeah. It's the he easiest play ever. A slow roller up the first baseline. Oh, it's oh, the best play behind the bag. Yeah, and well, the bases were loaded, though, this time, and everybody yeah. scored. They were down by three. This is how much fun. This is how McCain handled the gift. Yeah, that's oh. not a brain fart. He crapped his mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a better way to put it. General Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western. You hear the confidence, too? Oh, like, dude. Pretty nasty he things. Is He's like, pretty <laughs> nasty things, because he knows I got him. It's Palm a fastball down the middle. I'm going to drill this one. Palm of my hand. You I think got he's him. winking to the, to the side of him like, yeah, I yeah. got this. Watch what I do. Yeah, probably get distracted. <laughs> there we go. General Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western Pennsylvania lately. <laughs> and you know, 
I couldn't agree with him more. <laughs> you couldn't have said that with more confidence. Yeah. Dude. I couldn't oh. agree. You people are a bunch of douches. <laughs> oh, my God. What if he was... <laughs> with it's all the fantastic. confidence in the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll handle this. I'll let you step back. I got it. I got it. Let me show you how a pro works. And for all the booing that they were doing, there was going to be cheers like crazy oh my when he God. said it. And I couldn't disagree with them more. Uh, yeah. That would have been like, yeah! And he's standing there smiling. It was a fastball down the middle, and he yeah. popped it up to the catcher. <laughs> Trying to make it sound like he didn't screw up, and that's what got him. It's like you just got to reset. That's right. People, everyone says reset the wrong thing. is Laugh right. Laugh about it. Then he agreed that's with, right. uh, I think, Hitler at one point. Yeah, yes. he couldn't agree with Hitler more and <laughs> Goering. <laughs> All of them. Go Goebbels. Uh, and, I, and I must had a point. Ed Norton. That's what he should have just said. Ed Norton. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. You people sound a little taller on radio. Ah, chef of the future. <laughs> chef of the future. Senator Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western Pennsylvania lately. Lately. And you know, I couldn't agree with them more. Oh, no. I couldn't disagree. John. With you, no. I couldn't agree with oh. you more than the fact that <laughs> no home, Western John. Pennsylvania is the most patriotic. What? The most patriotic. <laughs> you think he needed to sit down immediately after that? Like, oh, oh, my, oh I, God. I got a, oh, I, uh, a flashback of a friggin' AK-47 butt going into his face. Yeah, you're going to see exactly it. That's exactly what he had. You know, and it's kind of like a Dr. Bellows thing. Ah, but, uh, but, but Major Nelson, I, I just saw the girl. She, and then, I, but I walked in and she, and then, but, and then she was gone. Major Nelson, I, but I couldn't agree with you more if, if, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, was, was he always in a tizzy? <laughs> a little overacting, Mr. Bellows. <laughs> oh, 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 my but, goodness. Agent Nelson, there was a woman in here. I, I, I was sure I... I but, well, where is she now, Dr. Bellows? But <laughs> I know she was... Oh, I saw, but... And she disappeared, but... The more confused, the more he took oh. on an English accent. Yeah, weird, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why they let him keep practicing? Yes. With all those... Dr. Uh, Bellows. Yeah. It was terrific. Uh, you know, <laughs> in, all, in all fairness, like, a bunch of people on instant feedback... We're talking about, you know, how Biden misspoke. Yes. Did he ever? And, uh, you know. Now they and then McCain the blew it. He yeah. Can't, they canceled now each other even. out. Yeah, they really did. They canceled it. They're even now. What did, Mc, what did Biden say? Was he the one who said that about comment? No. Uh, Biden yeah. came out and said, uh, yeah. talking about Obama, saying, believe me, you. He didn't even realize they were, like, being recorded. I don't know yeah. if this is possible. He's talking to a small group that we are going to be tested by somebody in this world. Militarily, this is going to be a significant oh, yeah, international yeah, yeah. incident. He's, you know, I mean, yeah. and, and he goes, and our response might even not be the right one, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to screw this up, and I mean, uh, it's going to be a horror. Yeah, that's more think? crazy than what McCain did. I mean, McCain just screwed up with a brain cramp. Yeah, yeah. This, this guy, guy actually thought this out. <laughs> I think I think uh, Biden has what I call political Munchausen. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that, that syndrome yes. when you torture your kids so you yeah. get attention to so yourself you attention. or you make them sick? Yeah. I swear to God, that's what I call the political Munchausen. <laughs> he, he keeps doing this. He's giving Obama soup with Torino in it. <laughs> yeah. He's really... I think Biden is secretly working for McCain. Something. That's what my wife said. A, or he's a couple really days pissed. out, he's going to really say something. He really thinks he, uh, he should be the nominee. He's got that uh, kind of ego. Uh, I mean, he says the yeah. silliest crap, man. I mean, but... <laughs> And they won't release his uh, his brain scans uh, as far as his medical records go. The guy's had, a, a, what, a couple of aneurysms? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. They don't want to look. His friggin' brain looks like a retread. <laughs> that's right. I forgot oh, about Biden. that. Yeah, like Biden's a, had a couple of... Bicycle patches on there. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Stryker. He's yeah, got exactly. more on Biden. Stryker. Stryker. Good morning, boys. And hey, uh... Yesterday, Biden was giving two different speeches here in Colorado, and he was mispronouncing names left and right. The media oh. never does that when it's a Democratic candidate. It's a verbal tick. When you're a Republican, you're a retard. When when you're a Democrat, it's a verbal tick or a cute little personality. Quirk. That's right. That's right. Verbal tick. The yeah. arteries in his Couldn't brain look like more. balloon animals. <laughs> 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 Let's see some pictures of these things. Oh. Jackass. No, that's what said about uh, when Kerry, John Kerry. There's one word he would always say wrong. They would always go, is the, the New York Times. Yeah, well, word, I right? remember that. I Nick, forget what the word was. Nick, My wife's you, a, a bunty would say. Do you like any of these guys? That's well, where I'm at with this whole thing. I don't like the, any what, of them. the four all that four. are left? Don't like no, any of them. No, 
Uh, uh, you know me, I'm you know kind of, Repu- uh, McCain's not Republican enough for me, and uh, mm-hmm. we all know how I feel about Obama. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I just you know I'm I say Obama's like a likable. I'd rather have a beer with him than you know a lot of these guys. I mean, he's yeah. like a Nike like a book, but I'm sorry, he's just not. Uh, yeah. He could be a little more seasoned, and I don't like his. He really is kind of a European socialist, in my opinion. It's amazing. Uh, hey, you know my world. It'll be Giuliani with Newt Gingrich as the vice. <laughs> and, and, uh, exactly. And uh, Giuliani is this, you know. Can we fit David Duke in somewhere? General. No. <laughs> is he running? See, but that's what people say. That's, I know. Ex- I know. And, you know, that's that's yeah, not. That's, that's, I get that's that all the total time. Total exaggeration. Just because yeah. you know, but, uh, silly me. I like my Second Amendment. I like you know, <laughs> uh, silly me. Uh, but but yeah, the, uh, Obama seems like a nice enough guy, a likable guy. Uh, but the fact is, his policies. I'm sure the French. Will love this guy. They do. He'll be over there all the time. Germany, they love Germany. Him. Oh, all of Europe is just loving this guy because he could be walked all over. Absolutely. By this new United Europe until something happens. Till the Germans decide to have an, a little shindig again, <laughs> <laughs> a little fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't he you're right. Like a nice guy though. I, I like I like Obama, but I, I think he seems he's more radical. I think. Um, and I, and I think he reminds me of one of those black guys that you see that they wear glasses that they don't need to wear just to look, uh, <laughs> professorial. Yeah, yeah, it's and, uh, I think he's a lot more radical. Absolutely. Than even though, to be honest, I, I want him to win, but I still think he's a now, lot more radical. Now, why, Jimmy, why do you want him to win? Just, you s- I just want him more than McCain because of the, I want a new, a younger guy. I want, like, just, just something different than what we've had. He even, but even if he's yeah. gonna go after you, who makes Believe a lot me. of money and. The, the political correctness annoys me. And it's gonna get the worse. Taxing, of course. The taxing, yeah. me, but oh. I don't want another uh, conservative on the Supreme Court. I mean, that kind of worries me too. I just want to balance that. Ah. Years. Like what happened? Out. Let me tell you something. Things were okay. When what? Wh- what happened yeah. since uh, Bush well, gonna... appointed? How many did Bush appoint? Three or two? Two. Two. two? Alito and w- what happened during that time? That really screwed Nothing. things up conservatively. I mean, did we? Uh, the only thing I could say is I I, I hate. His take and the uh, Supreme Court's take on, on stem cell research. Uh, I think take those fetuses, uh, uh, ch- uh, mince them, and uh, yeah, make, make a whatever. fetus margarita. Yeah, we, exactly. A little salt around the glass. I love it. <laughs> give them to a give them to a sushi chef. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fetus sushi. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's good no, stuff. You know Have you had sashimi? Human sashimi? <laughs> right. Like oh. that, I think is ridiculous. But as far as things like you know, all in. Was Roe versus Wade overturned? It's never gonna be. I mean, ever. Th- th- these those are things where people panic. But you start getting some real uh, uh, liberals on, on the Supreme Court, and now you're looking at a lot of our our constitutional rights being taken Ripped away. Ripped away. They uh, they legislate. They don't yes. even interpret. They right. Legislate. Uh, I don't know if too many. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't see too many conservative judges. I'm not just talking about Supreme Court wise. At any level, interpreting the law like they do, you yeah. know, the Ninth Court of Appeals in San Francisco. They just do anything they want. Whatever the hell. Oh, my God. Are they the, you know, whatever they want to do. Yeah. Over there. Hey, you want to marry a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> we'll write it down. It's fine. Although San Francisco now, they're, they're actually looking at making prostitution illegal. It won't pass. But How do you th- why, why, why don't you think it'll pass? Most because even in San Bur- Francisco? No, it won't pass. Don't even they have in, enough AIDS over there? Even, <laughs> <laughs> even in Berkeley, they're all against no. it. You can never have enough, right? That's what I say. What, is, <laughs> what are they? Unbelievable over there, huh? <laughs> they should leave. <laughs> Taking little kids to lesbian weddings and stuff. Good for you. That's terrific. Yeah, yeah, Good for wonderful. you. Wonderful. Good Beautiful. Job. Nice effort. Uh, also, Biden... Had another uh, mess up there. A the gaff. Well, the three. What did he refer to as Harris by hat? <laughs> uh, Jody from Jersey. What about Biden saying things will change with three letters? Yes, J O B S. Yeah, that was the other one. That was a good one. Wow. He spells out jobs. And says it's three letter word. Yeah, it's probably the type of hair you get when it's like uh, inside your head is like a sprinkler pipe broke under your lawn. <laughs> 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 I'll say hi to Jason in Carolina. Jason, you're on the Opie and Anthony Double show, boys. starring Nick DiPaolo yeah. today. Thank you. I wanted to do a relate a story I, or a conversation I heard in a Walmart the other day. Yeah. A uh, lady of color said after Obama was elected, she was going to buy herself a Hummer because he was going to make gas a dollar a gallon. <laughs> really? She right? Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people disappointed when Obama's the president. Uh, did you see that thing I saw it on a Drudge? A picture? It's like a can a votive candle. With uh, Obama on it as like a holy figure, yeah. with a halo and yeah, and wow. dressed in some robes and religious garb, like he is being looked at as the second coming 
uh, of of a uh, black Jesus. Yeah. And and a lot of people, like we said before, are going to be very disappointed. That's how the media sees him. Oh, Chris, Chris Matthews will be one. Will be disappointed. Love him. They love him. The approval rating in the black community is going to be, but not, that's not good because they're expecting uh, big big things that he can't do himself. This is the um, the time that in history where the social chains will be broken. This is the yeah. new Emancipation Proclamation. This is the new. This is like everyone's expecting these huge things. What and if he doesn't win? Business as usual. That's. I, I, it'll be like the L.A. riots. That's true. God. If he they, doesn't win, they feel like they're so entitled. I'm not just talking about black people. The whole left feels yeah. like they're already talking about like they have this in the bag. Like it's stuff. already won. And if they don't. You know, they're like spoiled little brats. They're going to go nuts. I don't see one of them saying that uh, the election would, was rigged or anything. Yeah, if they exactly. lose or this any thing. problems with uh, rioting because the election was uh, rigged. Yeah, I, d I don't see that happening at all. I almost hope he wins. I just want to see who Who would want the job? Ugh. Space Trucker, what's up? Hi. I have a, a an insight. One, I, I agree with Jimmy. It's not so much that I'm voting for Obama. I'm voting against McCain. It's the last several elections. I don't vote for anybody. I vote against the other guy. No, but I, I'm saying I, I like Obama. Like I, I, he is too socialist for me. He, there are things about him I don't like. You're not going to. You don't have way. to vote. But no, I can't. I'm not registered in New York anyway. But I'm just saying theoretically, if I did vote, uh, that's the one I would. I would. But want well, I'm to saying even if you could vote, if you weren't, Obama, I would go for Obama. Why I'm saying if you don't like, I like either candidate, I'll tell you what I like about him. I like more about him is he, he's got a vibe about him, like people like him the way they like JFK. Like this, it sounds corny, but this is like this really I nice hope it doesn't hopeful. end the same way. They, I certainly hope so too. They like him, not in so much a way they like JFK, they like him like they like Bono. This guy's a rock star. People yeah, go is. out to the, see him. They, that's why yes. he draws these huge crowds. Yes. Not because there's so many s uh, people supporting him, because you want to see a rock star. Aflac Duck could draw 100,000. Yes. St. Louis. <laughs> I'm telling you. Exactly. You put it on TV enough. <laughs> I don't want to run Am I wrong, country. though? If a, like, a little ugly poodle with two heads was born tomorrow and they kept putting oh, it on YouTube, yeah. it would get at least 50,000. I like yes. the fact, by the way, that Obama will talk. I get tired of this policy we have of not talking to Iran, not talking to Syria because we don't like. Yeah, it. that one does. Well, that that one doesn't it. bother me that much. I want. Either. I want to. I don't care if they're radicals or. They're, I. I just want. Let me to, tell yeah, you something though. You gotta, uh, you, you gotta. You gotta uh, talk, but you also have to back it up. Yeah. With don't step on me now. Don't like. I'm gonna go here and I'm. I'm gonna talk. Right. We're gonna have a dialogue. But the second you start yeah. spouting off your uh, your uh, crazy uh, uh, Muslim crap. Uh, I'm gonna have to walk away. <laughs> hey, look, I don't care what they spout off. I would rather open. It, Penn and Teller did a great thing about how the way to work all these stupid problems that are through trade, because it's hard to attack people who you're trading with and spending money with. Hmm. That is the best way to do it. I want to have a free trade or whatever with with Iran and Syria. Why not? If they're making money off us and we're making money off them. People yeah, but they only have other. one thing we want, which is their oil. All right. And we have nothing they want but a decadent society that can only snapper, kill right? their, their uh they gotta have way of life. they got to have like something that. else I mean, just... besides oil. What's, yeah. what's the second thing we want? Oh, members only jackets? <laughs> 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 no, I'm oh, just yeah. asking. Iran. 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 Sand. What's the second thing we want from Iran? Lady Everyone Bick, knows oil. Lady Bick shavers. <laughs> <laughs> they got a ton of the... Can you look that up? There's got to be one, the second thing we want or need from Iran I besides I read, oil. I read a, a Purple story. carpets, magic yeah. carpets. <laughs> magic flying carpets. Right. Pointy hats and <laughs> shoes that curl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blood-stained dresses from girls that actually show their ankles. <laughs> nice rocks to hit our wives with. they got a ton of stuff on there. <laughs> nice rocks. <laughs> nice oh, rounded damn. off rocks. Yeah. You know they don't cut. They just <laughs> really bludgeon yeah. someone with them. they, they got a ton of stuff. <laughs> well, we could throw a Nike yeah. logo on that rock and oh, we yeah. would be in business a woman's hat with a target on it <laughs> it's a wedding gift <laughs> I, I, I read a story uh, yesterday about um, this uh, Iraqi woman uh, she's 20 years old mm -hmm. started working on a military base she couldn't go home at that point or else the family they were afraid would give her one of those um, where the, all the men of the family stone her it's called a something killing honor killing honor killing yeah, thank you very, yeah yeah helpful. an honor killing very honorable yeah uh, you know she's it's not she's a bad idea working <laughs> uh, so she couldn't go home and a soldier this marine decides uh, he really liked her uh, thought she was beautiful marries her um, oh boy yeah takes her back to some crap hole Kentucky just the mountain place oh no uh, he hurts himself he can't work so she ends up working in a strip club 
Oh, uh, yeah, the American dream. It, it, it was it was just the American dream all over. But <laughs> the the only thing that gets me to the point where I'm thinking, you know, Obama might not win this, was the interviews with neighbors of this family. They never said that she was from Iraq, the Marine or her. Uh, and when the neighbors found out, they interviewed some of these neighbors for this story, and she was like, well, I was scared at first. I was scared when I found out she was from Iraq because, you know, those people, um, they bring the terrorism. And this was her, like, this is the way she was talking and everything. And I'm reading this going, all right, we still got a shot <laughs> because that is middle America. That isn't liberal New York. That liberal LA. Backwards, though. That's backwards America. That's not... that, you know what it is, though? That's pull the lever for McCain. Yeah. <laughs> that is backwards, believe me. That's the other extreme to the liberal, you know, guilty uh, white guy pulling the lever. Yeah. Uh, but when I hear stuff like that, I think, all right. All right. We you're holding have, out hope. We might have this. <laughs> uh, you're not going to believe it. Uh, so, oil. We want the oil from Iran. We found out what the second thing is. Oh. Uh, we'll let Charlie say it from New York. Charlie. Paprika? Pretty close. Yeah, they, uh, Iran is the largest producer of pistachio nuts. <laughs> oh, my That's God. Nice. Are my pistachio nuts coming from that filthy place? Are they place? really? Yes. Ew, the shells are open, and, what? and I'm eating it. <laughs> everyone's, <laughs> coming, everyone's coming up with pistachio nuts is the second thing. You know, they, don't yeah, right? they don't use toilet paper. Now That's what, what I hear. What's the, are those are pistachio <laughs> Yeah, they use their left hand. Right, that's so they could shake hands with their right. We all heard that. But you're right. That's how they pick up the pistachio nuts. It's like when you take your mashed potatoes and put it into your peas. <laughs> <laughs> they go, Ugh. They, they just smack their dirty left hand down on the pistachios. <laughs> yes. And it's the perfect amount for the bag. I will never eat a pistachio nut again because they don't they don't use toilet paper. And like Ann said, those things are open oh, a little those bit. Are, you like the ones that are open. It's not a battle. <laughs> are, those, are those the red ones oh. that stain your f lips and fingers? Those, those like are the guys that bagged them that had hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one in each, one out of five pistachio nuts is really, you know, like, take it out of the... Oh, God. You know, it's got a hair on it. Oh, and I like pistachio nuts. All right, we got to oh, take another break. Oh, uh, damn. Oh, well. Hey, Jimmy's got a book out. It's called I Hate Your Guts. Yes. And we're trying to get uh, a little attention on Google today, so we're asking everybody to Google bomb I Hate Your Guts, Jim Norton. And you can uh, pre-order on Amazon. It's actually released uh, November 4th, but uh, on Amazon pre-orders. Mm -hmm. It's moving You're up You're like charts, Newt Gingrich here. He's got a book every time I come. I know. It's nice, right? And nickdip.com. What else, Nick? Please go uh, November 28th, Tarrytown Music Theater, the night after Thanksgiving. And I'm in... Belmore, Long Island this weekend at Brokerage, but November 28th is the big one. What about the Brokerage? You don't want anyone there? It's a small, small, small space, right. so I don't think it'll be a problem. Right. But uh, November 28th, Tarrytown Music Theater. And all this is on nickdip.com. Yes, it is. Uh, over well here done, first, Opie. Danny. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going to be oh, Opie, that's not professional. You will not be invited to so what? old timers of radio <laughs> convention. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, please. <laughs> Who wants to go there? I get tickets. Yeah, yeah, you're going? Yeah. I scalp some. 200 bucks. <laughs> to Newark, right? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Go there. No. See all those radio message board people. Yeah. Going, ooh, guess who I met? Well, okay. how would you have anything in Newark? No. Alan Sniffen actually has a radio on his shoulder that plays his awful theme music. <laughs> it's Alan Sniffen. Is it? It's Board Reflections. Da, da, da. I haven't been there in so long to check oh, that out. It's no like, one has been. Yeah, now they do. All they do is talk about like what alloy the transmitters are made of. It's not even radio related anymore. You know, uh, I was an engineer at uh, one of the towers back in '52. When uh, really <laughs> <laughs> cares? Hey, Bobby's back in studio today. Bob, Bob Kelly, Kelly. Now we noticed something. Uh -huh. We all know by now that Bobby used to be a fat guy for a couple of years. Uh, Bobby was a pig, just a yeah. slob, <laughs> yeah. a fat, <laughs> disgusting mess of An a man. Embarrassment. We had embarrassment. Tell me how you really feel. Anthony. How he got a girl to marry him is beyond me. I got her before I was fat. What did she like? You did? Yeah, I've never. Yeah, but you got fat. How'd you keep her? I was. I only got fat after torgasm. Before that, I was thin. What did Bo turn her on? <laughs> <laughs> She's Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh, that's a yes. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 
And uh, it's well documented. You're losing the weight. You, every time you come in, we're like, wow, Bobby, man. Yeah. But now it's getting to the point where we think you lost weight since yesterday because you were on yesterday's show. Now we're a little creeped out. Yes, yes I am binging yeah. and purging after the show. Are you? Uh, you guys gave me bulimia. Hit Thank an you. old gypsy woman with his car. And <laughs> thin. Uh, thin. I <laughs> die with it on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I never take it off. <laughs> How do you how do you know the references of that great. stupid uh, movie? That old guy, he was was he the guy from Room Two Twenty Two or something? He, he was, was like a principal. Creepy. Yeah. Uh, you'll never see us. Seen. Uh, <laughs> turn one guy into a Judd lizard. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, lizard boy. Mm. Bobby's playing Wilbur Theater in Boston. Is this Friday? This no, Friday night. This Friday. One show. Oh, good. This Friday, one what? show. What time is it? Eight o'clock show, doors open at seven thirty and it's ticketmaster.com. See you could go to the show afterwards, you go out to the diner, you have a Danish. Go to Dominic's, get a slice of pizza right across the street or a she mail around the corner in Chinatown. Really? Uh, I may no. pop up to see your program. <laughs> <laughs> your show. Who's that? Go to Jacques. Wow, oh Bobby, look how God. fat you were. Was I fat? Wow. Yeah. You blocked it out the stars on the flag. That is really <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, you're standing in front of America. You're yeah. General Fatten. <laughs> Damn you. Do you! Do you remember all the good times we used to have? No. No. General, General Pat used to say the core, the core, the core. Yeah. He used to say the s'mores, the s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he says, look at him. He looks great now, this son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get better than that today. Uh, Darren R. from Brooklyn. We were talking politics, and uh, Darren just wants his opinion uh, heard. He writes, when you guys start talking about politics, it's like it's like monkeys throwing S. You're not political <laughs> pundits. You're Joe Sixpack horse S. Is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's baseless. Oh, sorry. Didn't and, agree with you, did we? And only does harm to listeners taking you seriously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Harm? How many people take I know how this seriously, first of all? Everyone. <sighs> dummy. What a dummy, because you don't agree with us. My point yeah. of view is is null and void and shouldn't be a broadcast. Yeah, Shut it. That's a Democrat for you. Yeah, exactly. Always preaching tolerance and free speech. Yeah, unless it's something they don't want to hear. Go Idiot. hug a tree while someone's cutting it down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I will say that the nastiest emails I've gotten lately because I'm supporting Obama have been because I've gotten a lot of nasty ones. Yeah, from yeah but that's because your base that you guys play to here is mostly, you know. Oh, but yeah. they've been giving me the proverbial business. Oh, no. oh, oh. you're a guilty well, white should. guy. What? What? Not guilty. What are you talking about? Well, you about? aren't, but most of them are, actually. Mm, true. Yeah. It's I'm driving not... the whole election, actually. And people not... don't even know it. Not you, no. I know. I, I don't. You're, you know what it is. I feel guilty. If I had guilt, I'd wear a condom. Jimmy is a, a, a <laughs> progressive a thinker. You're, you're like this progressive thinker, I think. And, 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 and yeah. the, He's going to pr progress this, himself right out of his pay. Yeah, out of his money. But, but I, I think that does you harm in this instance, because I think you want to see something new here i think it's it's that you're tired of what you've seen so you want something new regardless of what it is Nothing no if it was that. terrible i wouldn't no no but it is i, it is. I, I like <laughs> it is i like terrible. but i like him um i kind of like what he said about wall street um I mean, you're not gonna like, date him he's gonna be your president yeah he did a good matt lauer interview i saw lauer is a good interview man and, and he he really will come after you and i you I, vote I, for him if he runs he i did. don't know if matt's running for anything quit starting rumors <laughs> what do i know <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, him and Sam Champion on the next ticket. How did Al Roker? He looks like he has AIDS below, like below the neck. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> All the head. fat went to his head. I love it. He, he was much. He's scarier now. But he lost oh. the two hundred pounds. It's gonna happen to Bob Kelly. Wait, he's gonna get those wrinkles. Oh, oh, what oh, wrinkles? God. Like oh, a rhinoceros has under his ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> you can crush your legs. I see there, Bob. Oh, I can. I can Look do the. Old, I can do the old uh, gay cross. You who? The old, <laughs> you <laughs> who? Can. You don't nice have to with that hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep it on because of my, uh, I you bumped my head on a, 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 a weight steering bench, wheel? bench bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on what, a vending machine? <laughs> steering wheel. That took a second. Game is back on. <laughs> uh, would, you, would you bump your head? You ever notice when there's more than like two comics in this room, it's just, it's attack mode. It's a vicious, yeah. <laughs> well, what are we going to do, talk politics? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People get angry. I was listening to the show around 15 minutes ago. You guys were talking McCain and that, you, it was actually an intelligent comic. Conversation is just downhill. Go ahead. Next fat joke. Uh, <laughs> I just want to know what happened to your head. Yeah, can we I see was, it? You know the. You know when you're doing the uh, incline bench, it's, you have to hang upside down basically. Yeah, go ahead, Jack the Lane. We know what incline benches. And uh, what happened? 
and then the <laughs> oh my Mike Babiglia, relax. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> no, you're not as funny as him. Go ahead. Oh, Do you believe that? Oh. No, I love you. You know that. Go ahead, Chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Bang your head on what? A sandwich? The, Let's go. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. I'm nervous now. So you're hanging, you're inclined. And you you have to swing your head under that bar, that big metal bar, the bench bar. Yeah. yeah. Smash my head right on the grip part. Oh, let's oh see. What God. do you guys? Did you? Gar or scab or something. Oh. oh <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Wow. You look like McCain when he was in prison. <laughs> I actually looked like McCain a couple of years ago when they removed that lesion off his head. Yeah, you oh. it, it looks like a big liver spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You sure you didn't you didn't bang your head on the way into the short jeans store? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby is right. It just turns into a it's like pack a of So you're standing there and spears are just being thrown at you. <laughs> oh, I got such a joke. It's yeah, a yeah it's spit it out. I'm not saying it. <laughs> not in this day and age. <laughs> now we now we have someone that uh, has a problem with the fact you said Matt Lauer is a good interviewer. We can't we Why? can't do anything. I, right would, on I would love I let anybody oh, call me and say anything different. <laughs> let's go to Tom and Frank Square there, when you when you book to talk to Matt Lauer about your book. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, 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 not with the Al Roker trashing that's in the book. Yeah. That ain't happening. Uh, Tom and Franklin Square. Hey, what's up, guys? Jimmy, I absolutely love you. I go back to Tough Crowd when you say Thank you Karen very much, Tom. All right, hang up on him. What a douche. No, nah, Tom, uh, uh, Jimmy, I love You're you, Tom. but Matt Lauer did the softest interview with Hillary Clinton. Oh, I didn't Four see that. Softballs at her. You know what I mean? So that's, it goes both ways. Like I said, I'm a Republican, but I do support what you're saying. I understand. I think you're a great guy anyway. You're not a, a sorry white guy. I don't look oh. at you like that. I think you're hysterical. You, everybody has different opinions, you know, but you are going to lose your base audience. I'll tell you why I liked you. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, please. I, I don't, I, I'll tell you why I like Matt Lauer. Uh, the way he went after Tom Cruise. I mean, that was brutal. Like he really, Tom Cruise is not used to anybody questioning him. And he smashed Tom Cruise's on his, face. Uh, psycho, uh, psychiatric drugs. Yeah, and... I've seen him do that to enough people where he at least even any if, of them Democrats. Uh, yeah. Obama, but he didn't smash Obama, but he did really uh, question what he was saying about Wall Street. And uh, I mean, I, I just he made him give him a really good answer. I just I, yeah. I liked what he what he said. And he's kind of cute. <laughs> well, yeah, not from the top though. He's got a ball. He's dreamy. Spot. Hey, uh, Boston, want to say good morning to everybody listening on BCN. Great story coming out of Boston. They're, they're tasering the hell out of everybody up there. Why? Is that what they do? Well, they didn't have much luck with the beanbag guns after that girl got her eye taken out and, uh, killed her. Died. Died. Yeah. Killed yeah. her. Well, her eye came out first and then she died. It certainly did. She had to see herself <laughs> die because the eye still terrible. had feeling. Oh, terrible. You got to applaud this, though. Here in New York, we had two cops shot in the subway, right? Why you got to applaud that? Why? No, not, no, bad. You're not terrible. bad. I'm, you know, I'm talking about taking people. Obama. Yeah, you're you're, you're praising <laughs> cops being shot. You're <laughs> an animal. Opie airs. Yeah. Wow. God. Not that. What are you praising? Uh, I think I think we should be tasering the hell out of people. Left and right. Well, the guy that uh, shot the cops, he got uh, a little more than a tasering. He got about four rounds in him. Yes, he did, and that's uh, that's beautiful. He, uh, yeah, a couple of cops were um, down uh, in the subway doing one of those uh, plain clothes, hop the turnstile, bust the guy kind of thing. When was this? Uh, overnight. Yes, yesterday, overnight. Sometime I haven't yesterday. even seen the paper that I'm he, uh Yeah, this guy, a uh, fine gentleman, I'm sure, uh, goes to hop the turnstile. A couple of these plain clothes cops uh, go after him. He starts a fight. Uh, one of the cops' guns gets loose. And the guy picks it up and shoots both the cops yep. and runs up the stairs. And, uh, ooh, golly, a police lieutenant's up there at the top of the stairs and unloads four rounds into him. <laughs> nice, nice Irish kid. I'm sure, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. The, the cops are going to be okay, thank God. Yeah. You're going to be okay. Say the words. Uh, but up there in Boston, local cops in Bay State uh, suburbs are zapping suspects with taser <laughs> jolts at a shocking rate. <laughs> I get it. As the state looks the other way, and even Boston police have shied away from the co uh, controversial weapon. Uh, What's the pro? It's it's called less lethal. Right, for, right. And this is what you're doing instead of shooting people. And they're Holy already complaining. Christ. They're already complaining. The uh, the you know. Amnesty International. They don't all these. Uh, yeah. They, so the Amnesty International. They yeah, they don't this want us to. Well, that's what this, this is, is about. Yes. Uh, eventually, uh. we're not even going to be in a, you know we're not going to be able to use the electric chair. They're going to have a no. guy in his socks walk across the shag rug and touch a light switch. Touch <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, all right, bring the cotton ball gun. Yeah. We'll show him. I mean, 
We know we know a little we know a little something about Boston, and they're saying Boston police have shied away. The, the Boston police don't want to be shying away from the taser. No, they love. They've the been taser. forced to to yeah, put that wouldn't. thing down. In 2007 alone, the weapons were fired at least 200 times in 30 towns. That's 200 nice. times someone wasn't shot. What you know? A lot of these kids want to fail it. Win. Yeah, yeah. You, you see, just you to, see, because they demonstrate all the time. Cops yeah. demonstrate on each other. Yes. You can put it on YouTube. They shoot each other at parties and stuff. Yeah, like. Parties. Yeah. So I'm, I'm guarantee a bunch of these kids want to go really get see what yeah, it feels let me like. See what that feels like. I'm just gonna yeah. hold this until the cops show up. And <laughs> it, it's it's unbelievable to me what they expect these cops to do when somebody is uh, resisting arrest. Someone's holding a weapon. Someone's uh, threatening someone else. What the hell do they want him to do? First, they never want him in their neighborhood in the first place. Yeah. Stay out. We don't want. And then they bitch when they don't come in and fight the crime. And then whatever they use to fight the crime with, there's a problem. It just—it's beyond me. Cops, sh they should just sit in their cars and this is the part. And not do anything. Next year it's going to be super soakers. This yes, is, yeah. This oh well, uh, you know the water is very chilly, and I got a cold. You're going to ruin my pants. <laughs> This is the part that's going to enrage a lot of people. The stunning rise in taser use has drawn the fire of the local Amnesty International there chapter, you like you oh, said, God, yeah. which says uh, tasers were supposed to be a non-lethal alternative to gunfire. It is. Now it seems clear that police departments are using tasers not as an alternative to lethal force, but to get compliance. Good. Right? Yes. Good. This country needs a giant laser. <laughs> we do. We're a society of a-holes. Seriously. Your dad didn't slap you. He gave you a timeout instead. Yeah. Let me let me tell you something. You got to bring back the uh, the spanking. I could, that's absolutely right. I could the just about working. just really about is. guarantee ninety nine point nine percent guarantee. I am not going to be tasered by a police officer. And Why is anybody that? Deserves because it. yeah, if anyone deserved it, it's me. You got to pull out your PBA cards. Because, the thousands of them you have. You know what? <laughs> yes. Steal them out like that, poker. I, I I am very cordial to the police when they approach me for anything. I I, I give them respect. I, uh, I don't mouth off, uh, and, and I carry on a dialogue like a human being with the the, the person. Uh, and sometimes they can be nasty. I'm not saying all cops yes. are great guys. They step up to you. you sometimes you get a nasty one. You're not going to win the battle with a cop uh, on nastiness. You don't turn around and tell him to go F himself when he's you know calling you uh, 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 an ass for the way you're driving. And believe me, that happens a lot to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I get pulled over probably, what would I say, two or three times a month? It's averaging twice a month. Yeah, I get pulled over. And yeah. and, and the thing to do, like I said, I got pulled over once um, in uh, uh, Ohio, and I'm in a rental car. It's pitch black on the road. So the lights come on because I'm, I'm speeding. I usually do. And I... I I uh, put on my hazards and put my hand out the window like, okay, I understand you're pulling me over. Slow it down. But I waited till I got to a parking lot with a big light and, you know, pizza place or something like that so the cop can feel more relaxed. You yeah. turn your dome light That's on. That's right. Put your hands on you the put wheel. Your hands, both hands on the wheel, window down. And when they come up, then they're more relaxed and, and they're not in this frame of mind where, all right, I got to, you know, get this guy or something. You know, he, he, you you relax the officer. I guess I did, because I got pulled over recently. Yeah? I shut the dome light. I put my feet out the window. <laughs> and I held onto my cell phone. The light was hitting. It was a flash. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. I started digging in the glove box. I like grabbing my wallet <laughs> and holding it with two fingers wrapped around it. <laughs> my license. I leave a 50 hanging out and say, can't we take care of it right here in Brainerd? <laughs> Tail computer on my chest. You can't uh, hold your wallet like that. Look at a gun. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying since 2001, 320 people have died after being tased. Yeah, those are people with like cholesterol oh. problems and heart problems. Yeah. You know, you're tasing in the eyeballs. You ever or something. See... <laughs> <laughs> but they always, the guys that died really are like obese. Yeah. You know? It's always <laughs> a problem when they're sitting on them or something. We found like a, you know, waffle caught in his heart valve. <laughs> <laughs> He got like a dozen hard boiled eggs in his heart chamber. I think it was a taser that killed him. Uh, hey, Kevin from Connecticut, he's got a good one. I recently heard a Boston cop say, Stop or I'll tickle you. Yeah. He's going to get down to that eventually. I love, Boston cops are still old. But oh, like in the, in the late are. 80s, now this is already 20 years old, this story. But I got pulled over at leaving a nightclub with my buddy. Yeah. And uh, the cop's on his side. He was driving my buddy. And uh, I, I made some crack under my breath. Oh, geez. big Irish face! It looked like the guy from The Godfather, you know, too grouchy McCluskey. for my job. McCluskey. Uh, McCluskey. He had a face just like that. He's like a sixty-five. Rider. He sticks his head in the window. He goes, he goes to me. What did you say, Guinea? 
1989. What did you say, Guinea? All right, hold him. <laughs> oh my God! I'm seeing the jaw. You got to go to Sicily. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy's like he's a war hero. He's clean. <laughs> I thought I got rid of all you guinea. Your <laughs> grease, what do they call them? All you grease balls or something. That's what he said, though. Oh, oh yeah, wow. All you, all you guinea hoods locked up. Yeah, all locked up. He had a head like a pit bull. It filled the whole window. I was never so scared in my life. Did you repeat what you said? No. Oh, I almost God. crapped my pants. I went nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. And I was blind drunk as a skunk. <laughs> oh, my. And he had that McCluskey face, man. Oh, He'd been uh, on the force forever. That's funny. Uh, Should have rolled the window up in his face. <laughs> oh, damn. See a nightstick come yeah. through there real quick. Yeah, Lickety a, split. Uh, take a height. Flat foot. Yeah. Oh, he's a good kid. Beat it. Getting too yeah. old. Grouchy yeah. for my job. Yeah. That's a good place. How's the Italian food this place? Yeah. <laughs> right. Pretty good since it's an Italian restaurant, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the, the sauce is... come out of your neck. Where are you going to get? Shepherd's <laughs> pie? There it is. The old Irish sauce, sauce. dispenser is over there. Sauce. Benny, you need a little more. Need a little more gravy for your pasta. I love coming out of McCluskey's throat. I love McCluskey's <laughs> face as he's sinking down after being shot. Yeah, he that just can't acting. He can't it? believe it. Is he's what it is. Dead. He's looking like I frisked him. Yeah. What the hell? That's what he's going through his head. Uh, right before that like last bullet. Like he his throat. He's like trying yeah. to unbutton it. Yeah, like he was trying, trying to, to unbutton his shirt to get the bullet out of his Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that stung. He's like, oh, how did he get that? <laughs> this is a good place to break. Yeah, I agree, Stump Ray. we got to oh. take a quick break here. Bob oh, Kelly, Wilbur Theater, Friday. Let's get the tickets for Bobby up there in Boston, please. Yeah. And uh, nickdip.com, uh, the big show that you're promoting. Nick. Terry Town Music Theater, November 28th. All right, and also uh, we're Googling the hell out of I Hate Your Guts, Jim Norton, so keep that going for Jimmy and his book that's uh, moving up the uh, Amazon he's got enough charts. money, that kid. Go, yeah. no, go to Amazon. Never enough for old Jimbo. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Amazon.com pre-order. Look at the price of the book, mm -hmm. and then uh, just know that half of it is going to go to Obama. I'm oh, sorry. Jimmy. Oh, just know that you know half of whatever you get from that is going to go to y your buddy there that you want to uh, elect. Well, maybe a quarter of it because... It Amazon.com right now, it's eight dollars <laughs> off. Oh, oh hey, well, okay. Where do those savings go? Well, that's I a bargain know. then. Okay. It sure is. It's a bargain in any town. <laughs> Get us out of here, Danny. Uh, Opie and Anthony, full house today. Just talking about some horrific things. Yeah. What? what? Like injuries. Oh. Apparently, Colin uh, hurt himself. <laughs> yeah. He was... What happened? Wasn't he in here a few days ago? Yeah, I didn't think he. He hurt his finger, right? He, yeah, he, his reached, finger. he reached into his trash for something. And there was a broken glass in there. Just wow. nice ten stitches on his knuckle. Oh, but wow. it's the knuckle that he bites when he gets angry. You know that? <laughs> I'm yeah. Yeah. I'm the, gonna cut. <laughs> the flesh is probably already weakened from him chewing on it. Too bad he didn't reach in with his teeth. That would have been a better story. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I was... Uh, I was telling the guy that I reached in. I didn't reach in. I was pushing the garbage, a garbage bag, down into the garbage pail. Yeah, that's good. And a tuna can lid yeah. was in there and just sliced right through my uh, ring finger. And uh, it, 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 the feeling of that was, I still remember it. Hmm. It's like a, it's like a war injury. I remember when it happened. What, what year was that? God damn! Before radio, you should uh, you should have taken the hint. They were mm. trying to take your ring finger off so you wouldn't get married. Oh, well, no, it was after marriage. Oh, right, now right. you get a bloody finger. It smells like tuna. It's like a bad prom date. <laughs> <laughs> NickDip.com. <laughs> Make the following. Uh, when I was a boy, I was telling them I saw one of the worst things I've ever seen is I was at my friend Billy's house, and he had eye trouble. One of his eyes, he had a cornea <laughs> implant. A new, brand new, it was like 118 micro stitches that put a brand new cornea on, and we were making noise. You know, drinking, and uh, his, he had, a, I think, a Korean or uh, a neighbor upstairs, and she came down, <laughs> and she went to scold him, and I was watching from the side, and she went to point <sighs> for emphasis, and her fingernail sliced his cornea. <laughs> Big manicured fingernail. <laughs> wow. What are the odds? I'll Maybe it was forget. some kind of like kung fu yeah. move. Yeah. Yeah. She just got done fighting <laughs> Bruce Lee. Yeah. It's the big cornea slice move. I saw this from the side. I saw liquid go. <laughs> it was like no his way. eyes spit liquid. Oh, and his cornea, he goes, oh, how bad is it? And it, it was, <laughs> how bad is well, it? As opposed to good? <laughs> how bad is it? It was like... I never want to hear how bad it is. It was like a contact lens hanging off ah but it was his cornea he's blind in that eye now he lost his eyesight did it, did he, wow did he blind. sue that nip they, they couldn't have they, put it back jesus i mean they, there was a loss I mean, is he a good friend of yours no there was a loss. I, was. <laughs> I forgot that woman 
<laughs> there was a lawsuit, but uh, they had nothing. She was she married some. Uh, it was an American husband, and there was there was just no money, so uh, they won nothing. <laughs> so uh, he had to. Uh, now he's got a patch. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, it's terrible. Wow, well, it helps you get laid. R. How yeah. bad is it? Oof. Oof. The answer is I mean, never going to I mean, be good if you have to ask that. Yeah, his father had to drive him to the hospital in New York, like lay on his back just to hold the thing on his eye. Ah. The best thing I ever saw was that kid, that nine nine year old kid, get shot. That was yeah. something out in the middle of the desert. His father was. What? His you saw it? No, yeah. What? Oh, I used, we used to go out to the Mojave Desert with my fa my father was out of his mind, and uh, we all used to go out and camp at this um, silver mine, this old abandoned silver mine in the Mojave Desert. It was like a fifty miles off the highway, and the highway was in the middle of nowhere. It was between like Needles <laughs> and Kingston, Arizona, or something, it was in the middle of nowhere. No sunblock. Yeah, it was just nothing, and we took guns and doom buggies. And just and, and and we were kids and and just here go ahead here are the keys take it out shoot stuff we're just driving around the desert shooting things it was it was insanity and uh, this guy Juan Juan Reyes he went out and he had this old six shooter that you used to have to quarter cock to uh, move the uh, uh, the cylinder um, so he quarter cocks it loads it shuts the gate lifts it up and the quarter cock hit one of the bullets. And his son, nine-year-old son, standing right in front of him, hit him right uh, in the sh shoulder, the left shoulder, and out his shoulder blade. But I thought it was a heart shot. It looked exactly like. And then blood came out in a tube. It looked like a clear tube was stuck in and blood was pumping out through it. It was that round. And he just went like, he turned white, went, uh, and boom, fell on the ground. And I'm just like, holy Jesus I just watched one of my friends get killed, and they had to throw him in the truck in one of the pickup trucks and drive him to a hospital in like Arizona was the closest thing. It was uh, maybe a couple hundred miles away, oh, and it packed in ice and all kinds of uh, uh, shirts and everything on there. And we were they we, they left all of us there. All the adults went, so they left the kids there, and then the cops showed up because of the gunshot. So they got to investigate, and they showed up with their guns drawn, like thinking the Manson family is out there. Uh, and it's a bunch of us kids, all armed, oh, and the cops good. were asking questions, like, like, "What are you doing out here?" It's like Road Warrior. It was. It was like the Throwing Road a Warrior. boomerang and catching it, and your fingers get lopped off. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I'm doing shots of tequila. It was, and I was probably six. fourteen. Six. Yes, six. I was six years old. <laughs> nice boy, shot in the shoulder. Shot in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Was just doing shots of tequila, dr drinking, driving doom buggies, and the shooting kid made things. it. Yeah, yeah, he made it. He had to wear an arm brace, and uh, he had a cool scar from the front and the back. Went right through a clean shot. It's funny, your yeah. childhood is just not. Oh, it's you... chock full yeah, of. I, was, I, I just see you as a hump stuff. in Long Island in a above ground pool. I should have. Big it, Italian family. It was going out to California that kind of changed me a little bit. When I when I first when I was living in New York and growing up, I was the mama's boy. I was always when I was telling, I was crying all the time. I was a big baby kid, just Meh. and uh, you know, I was because I'm a little mommy's boy, and I'd stay home and build models of dinosaurs and spaceships and things like that. Uh, and then when I went out to California, I saw this whole new way of life. It was called uh, getting laid. My brother was out there, so smoking weed. Um, Blood. shooting stuff, riding. drinking, mm. riding horses. You could have done that in Levittown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when Anthony went to California, that's when you said to your liver, put up your duke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> and I can see that incident really scared you away from guns. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't get enough of them. <laughs> I love them. Uh, it, 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 uh, it was absolutely the most unsafe thing that could have been done. You never, when you have one of these old uh, six shooters, you're supposed to leave one of the chambers empty so that the, cause the, the firing pin is on the hammer itself. So the hammer falls, it's going, it's going to hit the primer. Yeah, that's the one you want to be playing around kids with. Yeah, around kids. You look at it wrong and it goes off. It goes off, exactly. Now there's uh, a lot of safety uh, devices in, in the guns that keep the uh, firing pin separate from the the hammer until the trigger's pulled or you know you're holding something on the on the grip a lot of safeties in place but amazing it, it was yeah it was quite a quite a weekend i almost <laughs> died quite a childhood yeah we're having a rock fight, me and Robbie Sear. Oh, the <laughs> old rock fight. Robbie, Robbie, yeah, he had a left arm. He could throw like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so we're whipping rocks at each other, right? I'm across the street. He's on his porch. I'm on a picnic table across the street in Johnny Desmaris' yard. 
So he he runs out of rocks, so he goes in his house, comes out with a bow and arrow. A real one. <laughs> right? Is he insane? He, he puts the arrow in the thing. I'm like, you know, a kid. I'm like, he'll never hit me from here. He pulls the thing back. Then he decides uh, this could be dangerous. Takes the tip off. The metal yeah. tip. Puts it back on. Proceeds to shoot. Hits me right in the throat. <laughs> I, I think about this today. I get chills up my yes. I, I, It would have went right through me and killed me instantly. Been dead. I caught the thing like this with my fists, <laughs> but it still cut my throat. Of course it did. It's like a pencil now. But being can you shot imagine if you caught it? it? Yeah, with my fists, I pinned it against my throat. <laughs> can you imagine that you on the road. The tip, <laughs> yeah. If he didn't take the tip off, you'd have been so but dead. Like William Tell, right through my. Yeah. Wow. You'd have been dead. I, I keep thinking about that to this day. It, wow. it freaks me out. I mean, <laughs> wow. Perfect. That is something. Right I, the would you die from a shot like that? I guess Hell it, yeah. And the it's throat, the artery, arrow to the dead. Throat. Probably. I just talk like Colin. Yeah, I'm at the ball over. These, these, this guy used <laughs> to know. Brother, I'll be at Terrytown this, this weekend. This guy actually still know him. This guy, Randy, used to he talked about how he was playing with a bunch of his friends outside, and they would play with bow and arrow. What they would do is take it and point it straight up. Oh, like on a it, surprise. And, and then no one would know where it's coming down, so they'd all panic and go, holy Jesus. And then <laughs> it would hit in the lawn next to someone, and they'd all laugh. So they they were doing this for a while, and one kid does it, and there's a woman gardening across the street. She's on her knees, <laughs> bent over, doing some gardening. They don't know where the arrow is. All of a sudden, they hear, ah! And it, it went right through the middle of her calf and stuck oh. into the ground. And, and she's screaming. So they all just run for their life. They ran away. They just all, no one helped. Were they looking for they, an Indian in the neighborhood? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, looking for an Indian. Oh, she my should have used God. the steak to get a tomato <laughs> tomato plant going. Who gets shot by, uh, by an arrow? I think you're just gardening and you get hit with an arrow. Do you remember that episode on the Sopranos? Ralph Zipperetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they had a box with yeah. a target drawn yeah. on it and it goes right through the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened, honey? Someone shot me with an arrow. Arrow. When I was a kid, me and my my buddy were in the back. We were throwing rocks at this uh, at this shed, and uh, we hit the window and broke it. And uh, neither one of us wanted to take responsibility. Of course. <laughs> that's, that's your story. Oh my God. Who was that? Sticking to it. Who was that? We <laughs> have these life threatening <laughs> stories and. What was that boring? He's got Brian? an episode from the Brady Bunch <laughs> story. Wow. Hey, I, I want to know the Brady Bunch story. Would have been, look, Dad got shot in in the hiney with what looks like an arrow. <laughs> with two things Starts with the on. same letter. Yeah. I actually got a <laughs> I got arrow has juice in it. I got a hole in my head <laughs> from <laughs> kicking, <laughs> kicking. It was like a, a four foot icicle hanging off the gutter. And uh, I walked over. My sister Ooh. goes, get me that icicle. So I went over and kicked the gutter, but I was standing right underneath oh, it. Oh, brilliant. The four foot, this this huge icicle came straight down, oh. hit me on my head, and almost killed me. I had a hole in my head. You can see, like, the, the gook. <laughs> The gook coming out of it. The what? Put all the brains. <laughs> the gook. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Did she say, hey, Frosty, can you get me that? <laughs> Abby. The brains leaked out. Abby. And they were going to the back of the head, but a mosquito landed and sucked them up quickly and flew away. <laughs> Are you saying that I have no brains? No, I'm no, saying you we had one, do but that. a mosquito. No, your hat, your hat is saying that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, I want to sneak this story in before we get out of here because we got the we got the perfect group for this one. Parents in Germany are welcoming a very rare set of twins. Baby Leo has dark skin like his mother, while brother Ryan has lighter skin like his father. Their mother is West African and their dad is German. The boys are fraternal and not identical twins. No. Doctors say that the odds late. of giving birth to twins of a different color is one in one million. Both babies are said to be in good health. Mm. Yeah. They were very careful with that. School. It, was, it was one black and one white. Why can't That's they just something. say that? Because she said one of darker skin. Darker yeah. skin coloring. That it's did a, I? Am yeah. I going to get fired? White for saying people are this? afraid of the word black. Wow, that exactly. isn't even like close either. Look at that. I'm looking. One wow. Is, wow. <laughs> what the? That is God. something. It looks like all in the family met Joe the, the Jeffersons. Plumber. The white one isn't really white. completely white. Maybe this is some type of. Oh my no, God. The white, that's, that's not the white one. That's the black one. That, that white one's yeah. white. That's exactly what. White one is. Uh, that's white. Almost white. Yeah, it's very tan. Sad one part is, is that both the parents are Asian. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, especially the lighter one got there earlier. 
Oh. 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 Jimmy Norton. Oh, no. Black people are late. Yes. Well, you said that. Uh, One's yeah. up all the time, and the other one just sleeps. Oh, no. uh, oh. I never said which is which. Babies do that. Oh, no, twins. I've known people with twins. One's usually uh, a, a handful. One keeps stealing the other one's food. All right. All right. Now, you know, Bobby, uh, you know, Bobby you know, why uh, do you have to just go the words line? Hurt. Can I say that this wrong? Words hurt. Bobby. Words hurt. Yeah, I was offended by that whole segment. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> now everybody knows Nick said it. Huh? <laughs> now everybody knows it was a joke <laughs> when Nick said no, I was offended Why by you that. How do you babysit I, I one twin? <laughs> <laughs> How do you what? How do you babysit one twin? <laughs> That's an old joke. You got it. Which you're not getting the punchline oh, from. Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. What did one twin say to the other one? Guilty. I don't know if that, that works. What does one twin say to the other one? Will the defendant please rise? <laughs> oh, this is... Ah, uh, yes. This is very bad. That's just terrible. Steer clear. Steer clear, this people. Steer clear. It's in uh, Germany, huh? One, one of good. them starts reading. Eighth grade. <laughs> hey, you tell me which one. Which one? You tell me. I know exactly. Yeah. Of, uh, I don't know what the, the educational system is in Berlin. One's a Republican, one's a Democrat. Right. Oh, let's listen to this one. Oh. Abu. Wow. Abu. That's great. <laughs> p- p- bunch of people just cancel their tickets at the Wilbur Theater. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I really need them to show up. <laughs> it's a recession, Nick. Relax. You'll probably do a good walk up. It's this Friday at the Wilbur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Barb Kelly. Yeah, don't walk Come on, up. Boston. No. Go see uh, I mean, Bobby. It's yeah. Friday, Wilbur Theater. We should get out of here. Yeah. No it's way. It. We did enough little, damage for one day. a little coffee clutch going on. Yep, 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 Ten yep, best yep, dressed yep, uh, yep, women of the week. Yep, 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 Important yep, stuff, you know? Style. Yep, 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 Al-Qaeda's yep, yep, planning on death and they're talking about shoes. Yeah. We're doomed. NickDip.com and Nikki, uh, Nick DePaul is promoting... Uh, this Tarry- uh, yeah, Tarrytown Music Theater, November 28th, the night after Thanksgiving, and this weekend, uh, the brokerage. Out there on Long Island. Island. So. And Jimmy, come on, let's uh, get people uh, pre-ordering, right? Yeah, the book, uh, it's a little little book called I Hate Your Guts, and you can get it on a little uh, website called Amazon.com, and you can do a little thing called pre-order, and you save yourself a few bucks. And do us a favor, Google... I hate your guts, Jim Norton. We're Google bombing. It's number one? Oh, dude, the okay. fans are helping you out nice. today, Jimmy. Thank you guys. Well, keep it going. Don't let anyone Look at it. that. There it is, right up at Good the top. You, I hate Jimmy. your guts, Jim Norton. Keep Googling that today. And, uh, Good for you. That's I, huge promotion for the for your uh, book, Jimmy. Thank you, guys. I've sent Imus uh, and, and the crew over there yeah. books so he can finally get the title right. It gives. Yeah, no, what's it called? Uh, I don't like you. Yeah, I'm not quite up to yeah, our font. What? Five minutes uh, past the hour. <laughs> Jimmy, uh-huh. Jimmy, this is uh-huh. perfect too. Uh-huh. When they click on "I hate perfect. your guts," Jim Norton, it goes right to pre-order Jim Norton's book. So it's, oh, wow. it's perfect. So for the faithful listeners, keep go- uh, just keep googling "I hate your guts," Thank Jim you Norton. All right, we'll see you. Uh, yeah. And there you have it. A good one. Today's pendulum song. I like the, this one. It's got that Betty Davis eyes. Uh, Drum machine going and oh yeah, and old oldie time video game sound effects. Yeah. For the next couple of weeks, uh, we're gonna feature a pendulum song. Nice, as we you know go from one studio <laughs> to the other, whatever. But there you go. There's today's the eight bit pendulum song. Uh, Nick DePaul made the walk. Also, uh, Robert Kelly, who's playing the Wilbur Theater in Boston. Whoopie Friday night. Whoopie Friday night. One show only. Mm-hmm. Uh, a very nice opportunity to see Bobby and what he's doing on a stage lately. And uh, I walked in. You guys were saying that Al Qaeda officially <laughs> endorsed McCain. Is backing McCain, yes, Al Qaeda on uh, one of their um, fine websites that usually show things, you know, beheadings or whatever uh, other shenanigans they want to pull against Americans. Uh, <laughs> they've posted that they are backing John McCain for president of the United States. And um, who's who's yeah, buying this little, pl- this clever ruse that they're trying to pull. But this scares me. Does America understand what they're doing by? And then they'd go, "Well, if Al Qaeda's backing him, I don't want to vote for him." Like, are you that stupid, yeah. or do you see the fact that they're doing it so he, you know, loses because they really do want Obama in? Right. 
because uh, they think I think he's they, a see, they see him as sort of a brethren, I think. Keith uh, Olbermann sent that email to MSNBC. Don't yeah, get on that guy's bad side. Oh. oh, you like Keith? Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Doesn't he's he do uh, ESPN, guy. too? I hope he finds a lump on his left nut and it spreads <laughs> to his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn good one. <laughs> <laughs> do you like Bill O'Reilly? Yes, I do. Sometimes. He's Sometimes. a blowhard. Here's what I like about O'Reilly's show. He, he loves himself. He is a blowhard at times. But at least he exposed the New York Times and those other douches. Did you see the, uh, he does that very well. Did you see the remember. argument he got in with Barney Frank? Yes. Oh, is that crazy? Wait, was Barney, that about? Barney Frank, does he, see all he, does he have teeth? Have they all been knocked out from teabagging pages? <laughs> his, his mouth is in a permanent frown at the corners yeah. from sucking so many cocks. <laughs> <Yeah. Ugh. laughs> his mouth does. He goes to the end, he's got the weirdest mouth. Oh, yeah, God, O'Reilly uh, beat yelling at him like he's his dad. <laughs> and uh, Frank yeah, just stood O'Reilly there, though. Just, yeah, I he did. Ba- Barney hung in there just like, mm-hmm. you know. Bar- what are you, you know what? About? Barney's so used to the abuse. Well, but Barney Frank's on this right after the economic meltdown at Wall Street, and Barney mm-hmm. Frank had a lot to do with it, you know, with Fannie Mae. He was in charge yeah. of it and didn't and do he shit. He loves anything with Fannie in it. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yeah, <man. laughs> and he's pointing fingers at everybody else. He wouldn't say, yes, I'm a little culpable, like, you know. Sure. Yeah. A lot of... Wouldn't do it. Pointing his fingers at everybody else, and O'Reilly yeah. was right on the money there. Yeah. Just, oh, do we have that? Like he was the little fruitcake that he is. It should be easy to find. I know it's on YouTube. I it's, it's all it. over the place, but it is good because O'Reilly's yelling like your dad, <laughs> like just yelling like your fucking dad yelled at you. And he what the fuck? What are you talking about? You don't even know what. Whoa, shit. <laughs> I, hear I, I cowered in the corner crying. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. Don't make me get the belt. And his hand was shaking. Belt and the strap on and whatever else he needs. <laughs> they actually Barney. got the name of the, the company from uh, from Barney. It was Fanny. May I put my cock in it? And they had to edit it down. Shorten it, you know. <laughs> of course. Of course. And they went, Fanny's a girl's name. You like boys. Okay, Freddie Mac. Yeah, forget me Freddie Mac. <laughs> no, he was listing men he's fucked in the bottom. It was Freddie Mac, Teddy <laughs> Steve, and they just said that. Too again, long. shorten it again. Of course. Go for the joke twice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jimmy Two Jokes. Jimmy Two Jokes. Shorten the name. Shorten the name. <laughs> I'm going to go look at the funny papers. The funny papers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to wreck the bit. Wreck the bit. <laughs> we get it, this guy. We get it, this guy. Who's the um, distractingly attractive girl we have to look at? Patty? It's very hard to, yes, Patty. Oh. It's very hard to do a show when uh, that's, that's in your line, of, oh, line that's, uh, of sight. That's Betty, Betty Long Laces. Yeah, yeah boy, let's take a while to lace those up. Oh, mighty. Who you want? Takes her to kick her out of the bedroom. I know. They're like they're high top boot, they're it, boot sneakers. She's got Caligula sneakers on. Yeah. <laughs> it's half sneaker, half corset. <laughs> we got a mic on her. She's, she's lovely. She's wrestling. Hi, Hi. who are you? Angel. <laughs> Hi, Angel. Angel. Is that your real Angel? name? Right. Yeah, I was born premature, and they didn't think I was going to make it, so they named me Angel. So Angel. Yeah, what did they call you? Little skinny. Story. Preemie. What? Yeah. Uh, early, uh, how, how premature were you? <laughs> Eight months. <laughs> Depends. Well, I mean, were you, was it like a, a, a couple days? or a head and a clit uh, on the blanket. I think it was about uh, three weeks, they said. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was born with a heart murmur. It took uh, 18 years to... Jesus. Oh, damn. She's, She's a good employee. She's probably always outside waiting for the place to open. <laughs> yeah, it is always early. Yeah. <laughs> Say it twice. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the big cop looking guy with you? That's her boyfriend. I'm calling her boyfriend. Uh, okay. Oh, God sake. damn it. Colin, go get us some sandwiches. Was, we were all hoping for brother. How long have you been going together? Shit. Maybe it is. How long have you been Where going you together? Uh, not too, uh, about six months now. So oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we can still trash. Right. Yeah, but. <laughs> we can fuck but, that up. We can still get in there. But the, the, the thing is good enough because she's not that attached to him, but the bad part is she's not sick of him either. Yeah, yeah. Because Colin probably, look, Colin, his he's dicky like qualities haven't come out yet. Like, oh. Uh, has some some of his douchey qualities. Oh, she's like, like what an have. asshole he is. He's probably oh, inconsiderate. Yeah. Oh, no, it's been showing a lot more. I'm cock blocking oh. the so fuck out of this. Over that. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for work, Angel? Should I ask? I do, do you modeling. Have a stage name? Modeling. Do you have a stage name? No. What do you model? You have you Jake, you don't fucking insult I... the girl like that, you Why asshole. Why is that an insult? <laughs> Fuck you. Don't don't even pay attention what to What did you say, Bob? Oh, you want throw one a down. Man bus, you fucking <laughs> one down. Bob, what did you say? Jimmy's the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's going to be the hard one to knock out of this equation. <laughs> <laughs> We're battling. <laughs> <laughs> Just He asks her, does she have a stage name? So that gets him out of the fucking picture with his stupid <laughs> remark. Yeah, really. Is so you model? Stupid, if, if, oh, no, you, you meant she does theater, right? You, yeah, you said I thought she was yeah. in Greece. Yeah, of course. What do, you, what, no, what do you model? Thank you, Nick. You could clothing or? Um, I've actually done a lot of different stuff. I've done stuff uh, with Echo Red, Lake Avenue. Um, 
I don't know if anyone's heard of it. Uh, SexyGirlStore.com. It's like a lingerie. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus, lingerie. Okay. okay. Do you ever date a black guy? <laughs> no. Why is that a problem? Well, Anthony's nice. in. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that question always gives me butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I see she's smoking Newports. <laughs> and she, I'm she staying is, quiet on this one. Anthony, yes, so inconsiderate I mean, guy? What? She's, she's, she's only, only 22. 22. She's she's yes, inconsiderate guy. <laughs> 22? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 24. That's disgusting. I know. Christ. Hey, someone your own age, yeah. Colin. 24. Fucking <laughs> four. <sighs> Kids all cocked to wow. my shirt. How'd you get a fucking model? What was that? How did he get a model? What were you, what did you he do? Didn't. How did you meet? <laughs> I don't know. I she she doesn't uh oh, you go sound real looks, intelligent. Yeah, that's great. I look like fucking <laughs> smart guy. Like Jimmy in the mid 90s, you know. So, oh uh, boy. Yeah, that bombed. Yeah. Free Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. What are you doing? I'm being mode. very aggressive. I don't have much time here. We're fucking, know. you know, yeah. the show's going to be over in an hour and a half and I got to impress this girl. Yeah, help me out here. What you want me to help you, Henry? I'm you trying to have a lot of broad. <laughs> I'm trying to bang this it's broad. A big fucking score. Help me out here, Henry. He's from the fourth town. <laughs> the fuck's the matter? Here? I'm always doing you favors. I'm teasing. <laughs> you're 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 a lovely couple. All right, let me help you. This is how you do it. All, All right, right, this yeah. is how you do Go it. Ahead. All right, let's. let's Colin, see. where are you from? <laughs> Uh, I'm from upstate, Cornwall, New York. Ah, her, sorry about the age. So, Angel, what are you doing later? <laughs> so that's all you do. You nice. knock the guy down and then the girl comes to you. Right. That's something. Where, uh, uh where, where'd you, where'd you, where'd you meet? How'd you hook up? Uh, no. He actually was, uh, kind of stalking my, uh, oh. MySpace page. Oh, boy. We met through, uh, one of his exes. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, and, and the She'll big question. Back in the picture, no. What does he do for a living? Oh, go on. Uh, I work for Audi. I sell sell Audis. I'm a there car you go. salesman. You're a car no, salesman? It's the worst time to be a car oh, salesman. Just a sleazy <laughs> fucking car <laughs> salesman? Yeah, but it's an hey, Audi. I'll put that uh, true coat on there for you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the true coat? That's my deal, Wade. Will you blow me if I have it z <laughs> <laughs> Oh, You work at an Audi dealership. All right. Who's Not even a Porsche. Not, Jesus. <laughs> Not selling many cars these days, right? Mm -hmm. Who's no. Oh, my God. Not selling many cars these days. And she just went, no. No. Like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Like yeah, I mean, but... The economy's shit. Of course not. Yeah. Well, well for some economy's people. shit. I'm doing great. Yeah. What the fuck? Am I missing and something? Rolling in the dough. Do you live together? I've been selling coke to school children. No. No, yeah. you don't live together? No. Nice. We, we spend a lot of nights together. Oh, Whose place? Fuck. His or yours? Um, his. Yeah, where my, where are you unsatisfied? Not really. You live with your parents. Family, you should go to the Capri Inn by the airport, LaGuardia. <laughs> Beautiful place. Nice. <laughs> yeah, your family likes this guy. Yeah. Oh, All right. What do you get him a deal on an Audi? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Who's that creepy tech guy sitting behind you? Is Ooh. he a chaperone? No. <laughs> that guy's by himself. The guy that keeps smelling the back of your hair. Who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Angel, they want your MySpace page. You want to give it out or no? Um, the, this yeah, will be a What, do you have to be like a friend in order well, to post know, shit? The funny thing is, um, look what? at something? No, well, I have to accept you as a friend. Yeah. All right. Can we look at pictures, though? Any any lingerie on there? Yeah, you're oh, a yeah. model. <laughs> All right, punch that up, Danny. You're not fast enough. But it's it's private. I have to accept you. Well, accept oh shit! Accept, accept this. I will. Accept. <laughs> <laughs> My I'm left trying. nut. You have to accept. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. You have to accept uh, before you can even look at it. It's one of those. And what do you think of that? Oh Jesus! <laughs> wow! All right. Jeez. Some uh, that's, pink uh, lingerie. That's a nice little pink lingerie. Oh, she's quite a looker. Yeah, yeah she's got she a nice I belly. I say hubba hubba. <laughs> we get everything. Uh, yeah, that's definitely that's Photoshop. Hey, don't you worry. We know how to get everything. <laughs> What's that hanging off your belly button? No. We're like Piece the FBI in this fucker. We're amazing. Danny can find anything. How old is she? Well, I'd say Danny. Twenty-two. Wow. wow. Yeah. If you don't have a nice body when you're twenty-two, <laughs> that's a nice picture. <laughs> yeah, that's you. We, uh, holy you're shit! That's you standing next to a See that? That's nice. What side, wow. are you, what side are you guys on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you going to be on a calendar and a <laughs> I was Exxon on a calendar. station? I was a 2007 Rogo girl. Really? Mm -hmm. Calendar. What month? what month? All. Every month? Yeah, every month. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I yeah. think I saw uh, that. You don't have to give thumbs minutes. up there, fella. We know. You're, you're doing good. Whoa! That's you under some sheets with oh, your legs that. sticking out. Are those? What's the thread count on those sheets? <laughs> <laughs> Are those sateens? Sateens? <laughs> 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 ah, <shit. laughs> poor, poor audience can't see because uh, there's the, I only have one camera. 
Uh, today. They could visualize on their own. Um, <laughs> feel free not to post those. Oh, up. wow, yeah. Pumpkin Cameron. The one where she's... What? He's just oh, which singing. He's just wait, wait, which one? Turn it around. Be nice. No, oh. not this one. Oh. I like wow. that one. Why not All that right. one? That one's fantastic. Nice, nice ass. Let me see that thing. Yeah. Thank you, nice lady. Wow. <laughs> Damn. You do any uh, full uh, nudes? No. Okay. No? No. 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 Never, no. She's like, no, 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 no. Which means no. Damn you never it. did a full nude ever. I want to have kids one day, and I don't think um, yeah. mommy's vagina out in the open would be. No. You'd be surprised. Just know yeah. that's where you came from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You should do a calendar of just taint shots. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I always oh, remember where you wow. came from. So. Wait a minute. The fire uh, one with the suspenders. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's Almost the best nude. one so far. Dude. Miss, how is that going to protect you in a fire? Your bosom's is hanging out. Miss, what is literal this? gym. No, that, that, that was after I put You're the gonna, fire out. Is oh, gonna put the fire gotta cool out off by, a little. You're going to put the fire out by lactating? <laughs> <laughs> what was the shield on the helmet for, jizz? Oh, uh, Bob. 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 Is he going to take it there, Bob? fucking respect. The girl's doing nice Come artistic hey, shots. Hey, it's fucking... take it too far, Bob. That's Bob. my new character. Wow. Bob. Oh, Bob. Nice ribs. There you go. Bob. I like that one. Nice ribs. Yeah. like that. that like actually, a greyhound. Um, I, I did that for uh, FHM. Really? Yeah, that's a, that was I'm put, three years that's a good ago? picture. See that? Three years ago? Let me do a little 19. math. Wow. What do you look like now? I mean, you got a lot of stuff on. Well, you got a bunch of... Jet, do you, I mean, do you, you still model right now? Yeah, what do you not, not as much because of this one. Is that a strip of pole from Oh. Yeah. What do you look right? Can we look at you right now a little bit? Oh, Bob, don't be no, so fresh. No, what she said. <laughs> no, I was talking to how Bobby, you fucked it all up. I was talking to the guy behind you, honey. She goes, especially since, because of how nasty you've been. You have been very nasty, You are just nasty. What do you mean? <laughs> you're like her boyfriend. She, you don't treat her nice. Oh, that's a good one. Exactly. Like you're not <laughs> appreciating her Next enough. Next thing you know, you're going to be selling Audis, Bob. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? Next thing. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm was... selling Azuzu Pups. He's getting very ugly <laughs> chicks Pup. in Newark. <laughs> That's going Is that back new artwork on your arm? Yeah. There's what? a fish on Let's your see. arm. I see. <laughs> it's swimming. That's pretty fancy. Yeah, that is. A koi. Thank you. Everyone, Everyone gets like deadliest koi. catch next week. You got, <laughs> you got any? Uh, you got any pats? Are you fucking nicks? Me? Yeah. Oh, That's a nice I piece of work. One. Nice. Just one on your wrist. What is it of? It's a kanji symbol for music. Oh, you musical, what symbol? I guess. Uh, no, I just I love music. <laughs> oh, really? What kind of music do you like? Um, primarily what I listen big to. Big band? Do you like big band? Is <laughs> screamo metal? Oh, okay. Oh, that's hot. Oh, like emo yeah. screaming, screamo. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna that's sound not. good coming out of an Audi. What's a screamo metal? I don't, what is an example of that? It's uh, like when, uh, have you heard of like Bullet for My Valentine a trio? Oh, I love those fuckers. No. I don't think so. How about Ted Danson behind you? Has he heard of it? <laughs> Ted Danson. <laughs> Who does that guy look like? Yeah, he, he does like look like somebody. I can't figure it out. But Who have you what been told you look like, sir? Look like? Well, one time you um, told me I, I, I look like Captain Kangaroo four years ago, but that's a long time ago. Jesus. Uh, he must have lost some weight. He Captain sounds Kangaroo. dumber than he looks. You, hey, lost, you lost a lot of weight. About 200 pounds. Oh, shit. Good for okay. you. Good Come on in here. God Show bless. Your marks. God oh, bless. Oh, thank you. No, huh? No. I'll stay out here this this time. Can you like fly like a bat? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Very close. That skin is a bitch. That's old Charlie Cheswick scar. <laughs> yeah. He lives in movie world. <laughs> I love Jimmy. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. very nice to meet you, uh, Angel and uh, inconsiderate guy. <laughs> well, ask her if you got. Did a he shot, get you man. an Audi? What was that? Did he get you an Audi? No. Does he drive an Audi? If, an let's Audi? say, does let's, he have an Audi? Hold on. Hypothetical, still working hypothetical situation. If he was out of the picture <laughs> and you were completely single, would you at least, like, go out to dinner or something with me? With you? Yeah. Perhaps. All right. Oh, I'll, take, <laughs> I'll take a perhaps. Do you like Arby's? Oh, I love Arby's. There you go. <laughs> no, it would, be, it would be a nice place. Right? It's, it's where, <laughs> apparently, where um, Jill... Thought I took all my whores, as she put it, when she circled my American Express bill wow. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, every restaurant oh. and said, "Is this where you took your whore?" It was Chuck E. Cheese? Was here? The <laughs> 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 they love the ball pit. <laughs> I don't even know. What oh yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> this the Nick Paul was a pit. cute kid. <laughs> Angel, I got, I got some for Angel. Angel, this is how it works, by the way. 
Make an excuse uh, within the next hour and a half to go to the bathroom by yourself and leave your number in one of the stalls if you're serious about Anthony's offer. That's how it works. But I never check the stalls. We, we, Steve, we have you so, do? Steve, Steve does. does. Yeah. Steve, I, I check them I, all. I found another number. Oh, here. don't worry, guy, Audi guy. Look, he's, he's getting all bombed. Out. He's getting like, all bombed. What the bombed. fuck, dude? It's not like I have a few thousand in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but... Audi Dale versus uh, radio show host. That's yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. You want me to buy an Audi right now just to make him feel better? <laughs> make it even. Yeah. Um, that would be nice. So she made another even. tattoo. You'd the... be helping the economy, mister. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. It's got a big trunk and some duct tape and a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to buy a brown Volkswagen with the passenger seat uh, removed <laughs> that comes with handcuffs and a fake cast. <laughs> you're, Florida plates. Yeah. You're a serial killer hack. That's right. Come up with your own gimmick. <laughs> I know. I'm fucking, uh... You gotta use the van. Yeah, it's a very crutches. Ted bundy or something. Yes, man. just a bit. He oh, there favorite. you go. Yeah, she's just driving down the road. She's just going home, feed the cat, take home some groceries. She don't know fucking Buffalo Bill's waiting with a fake cast. A couch. Anthony, I got a question. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if, um... Yeah. Ted the serial killer's here today. I, I don't know. He might be. I, I'm looking around to see if Ted the... Ted... The serial killer. Ted Bundy or Ted... No, um, no Ted, Ted the serial, the serial killer. killer. Ted Bundy stole my thunder. Oh, Ted, hey. Yes. Ted the serial killer, yes. everyone. I was a serial killer. I would blow smoke in people's faces and then kill them slowly with my secondhand smoke. <laughs> I'm responsible for many deaths. <laughs> What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> That's the best. I would kill them, and they would turn into ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom. Ghosts. It's very hard to say. It certainly is. It's like breasts. <laughs> yes, breasts. Plural. Mm. She has lovely breasts. Hey, Ted, do you have any yes. trophies? Do you have any Unless trophies? Unless you're watching Xanadu. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. You have any trophies from your uh, from your, from your your killings at home there, Ted the Serial Killer? Yes, I do. Yeah? I would always save the right sock. <laughs> Why the right sock? I don't sock? know. I couldn't improv anything better than that, Gregory. I <laughs> agree. <laughs> I had a little collection. I would save everything but the feet. I would put it in my closet and it would start to smell. I told mother I went duty in the rug again. Still live with mother? I certainly do. Mother's infirm. She's an invalid. Yes, I put fish food in her mouth and then I, I rape her. <laughs> why would you do that? I don't know. Why wouldn't I? That's the question. <laughs> Is she alive, Ted? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah. She always goes, get off me, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible with the yeah. fish food breath. Yeah, that's yes, it's really a turn off, Anthony. <laughs> You just sprinkle a pinch. You don't want to overfeed mother. <laughs> yes, she sticks her tongue out stupidly. <laughs> uh, fucking real. All right. God damn it. You Robert. lost a lot of weight, Robert. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. You're welcome. I didn't know you. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Why does he have to look all the way up? Just what he does, Ted. He almost has that look. Okay, he's almost got the look of the major from um, Platoon a little bit. That has to, you know, drop ball ordinance on my paws. Oh, lovely fucking war. Yeah, lovely fucking war. Hey, uh, yeah, he's got that look going a little bit now that you lost the weight. I'm sorry we went down this road, but now we got questions for Ted the serial killer. We got oh. Alan in Arkansas. Alan. Yeah, Ted, where might I find uh, somewhere to buy ether rags and rope, handcuffs, maybe a shovel? Oh. You can go to TedSerialKillingParaphernalia.com. <laughs> the Emporium was shut down by the federal authorities. <laughs> but I sell all sorts of things. I sell medieval maces. I sell anvils. Wait, what's the place called? I mean, the web website? He's not going to remember. Um, <laughs> TedSerialKillingParaphernalia.com. Oh, no, it's not org. <laughs> <laughs> Just to throw everybody off, yes, right? Yes, the Chinese people are cybersquatting.com. <laughs> <laughs> There's an ad for tiny genital improvement. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Uh, uh, Ted, uh, uh, people want to know how many uh, how many kills do you have? Fourteen hundred and seventy-five. Wow. But only one is confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the assumption because I one time blew smoke into a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and you hope that would like kill them all? Yes, yeah, very slowly. Yeah. Let's go to Mongo the Trucker. A question for Ted the oh, Serial Killer. He's a secondhand smoke uh, yes, serial killer. Yes, I'm a secondhand killer. smoke serial killer. So he blows smoke and hopes years from now they die. I keep trophies. <laughs> I keep the butts that I've killed my victims with. <laughs> and I masturbate over them. <laughs> I run I run the cigarette butt over my nipples and genitals and I masturbate angrily. That is the worst serial killer idea ever. No, it's not. It's very good. Secondhand smoke? I've killed many. <laughs> Does mother watch you masturbate? She has no choice. Yes. It's a studio apartment. <laughs> Let's get a she doesn't model. like to look when I have mirrors around her head. She can't avoid it. Wait, I think you said mirrors properly. Isn't yes, it, I did mirrors. Isn't it mirrors? <laughs> no, it's mirrors. There's three R's. All good words have three R's. <laughs> Let's go to Mongo the Trucker. Mongo. Oh, better than Mongo the Lloyd. <laughs> Ted, I had a date last night, and I have a great big fat chick in my sleeper. What's the best way to dispose of her? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, oh, I don't know. I wish I had something planned for this. You have a big fat girl where? In, in, she's tied up in my sleeper. Well, then why don't you just open up the back and push her out, sir? What kind of comedic gold do you expect from that <laughs> shitty setup? <laughs> she got a fat girl tied up. That's kind of the punchline, isn't it? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy the Trucker. Uh, for hey, Ted uh, the Serial Killer, yes. Hey, guys. I, I want to know if Ted rents out vans and couches. Yes, one time I rented a van, but there was a little boy shooing it, and a judge sent a bunch of killers after me, so I had to return it. <laughs> Too obscure. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the star chamber. It was a bloody baby shoe. Dude, I just had to read somebody printing Mongo the Lloyd. <laughs> I wasn't sure of it until I read it and then I got it. Holy shit. No. I, it's highbrow humor. <laughs> hey, this is a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, we got a very good question coming in. Uh, uh, someone wants to know what you did to Frank the Frowner. <laughs> yes, people compare us, but Frank's a cunt. <laughs> He's always complaining about how it takes more muscles to frown or to smile. Who gives a shit? <laughs> that trite asshole. Did he kill Frank the Frowner? No, I don't like Frank the Frowner. He, he made a couple of appearances, yeah. and then somebody forgot to keep the same name, so they became someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Taking us inside. Uh, yes. Uh, mm. uh, uh, what's on our little plate? Nothing. Nothing. No, no, no I know there is. <laughs> we can do what's the haps. Ooh. I know. See, I want to know what's Ooh. the haps. Yeah. I know. I know. Our our, our pal uh, Sam mm -hmm. gathered some uh, audio uh, from the new um, Google phone. Also, he's done that. I mean. There are quite a few things. The news uh, were caught with their pants down today. Oh, oh. They had it all planned to be where? In Times Square? Times Square at the um, T-Mobile store, I think, that, right? That was selling the Google yeah. phone They're for the first the new, time today? The new Google phone, which uh, is supposed to be the iPhone killer, just like many other phones uh, that have come by in the past. Yeah. And um, something tells me... Well, Apple is celebrating the sale of their 10 millionth iPhone three months early. Uh, there was lines. Seriously? Yeah. There were lines Holy shit. Uh, down the block at the Apple store, down to about two blocks, for people to get in and buy the uh, iPhones. There's lines everywhere to get right. an upgrade. Uh, it's, it's insane. So I guess they figured now with this Google phone just sweeping the nation uh, that there would be a line out in front of the T-Mobile store. And there was. There was a line out there, right? There sure was. Yeah. Sam went down there to do some and, what's the haps. Uh, the press was uh, down there. Um, you know, scan, just getting interviews with people on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, how many? Uh, yeah, the whole thing was very exciting in Times Square. I guess normally at like uh, <laughs> five or six in the morning, Times Square is very quiet. You know, people are just sort of trying to get yeah, to work yeah, and start yeah. their big day. But you just hear the hookers sucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a seventy. Just but, dripping out their ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> but today, I mean, with all the excitement, everybody was lined up out in front of the. T-Mobile store and yeah. uh, Tamsin Fidel herself. No. Yeah. 
Tamson Fidel? Yeah, she Wait, was outside. in person? Yeah. We got a we got a great bit going with her, but it's, <laughs> I think it's way too inside. Yeah, or whatever. Who is it? She beat up her man once live <laughs> during one of her reports. And now, every report. time, now every time we see her on TV, we kind of reference that. They were doing a little report on the news about Sex in the City, the movie, and um, she uh, got on and, and said, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to see it. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But uh, the angle... I'm bringing my boyfriend with me. And she goes, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she goes, he's going. He's going. Believe me, like this castrating fucking yeah. you know, shit. And uh, so now every time she does a story, Opie goes, oh, but my husband's not going to be down here at the T-Mobile store. I said no. And it's just, it's just, it's just us laughing in the office at her being emasculating. Yeah, to her man. Yeah. Because the story was about how just mostly women are going to the movie. She needs. I think I was there for that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just open our food and annoy the listeners. Oh, I love then it. Then what happened? I, I haven't it. been doing radio for a long time. Welcome to Ted's radio show. <laughs> How come no one is listening? <laughs> WTED, New York, Light FM. <laughs> I, I say we continue What's the Haps after the break. <laughs> the listeners hate this. That would be fair. No, they hate this uh, more they than anything. They can't even hear it. What's the fuck? They hate this more than anything. Yeah. I have a very <laughs> soft sandwich. It yeah. doesn't crunch or anything. I know. Look at this. These chips like feel great. These pretzels wow. feel wonderful in my hand, though. Yeah. I'm eating a premature baby on potatoes. Oh, God <laughs> damn. Wow. Potatoes. No bones in it. Nice and quiet. <laughs> How the fuck did you get a fluffy, big egg white omelet? Mine looks like it has AIDS. Well, so you just had the AIDS. Maybe they saw your act. I don't know. Oh. Easy there, fucking genius. <laughs> yours, Bobby, yours cost $2.69. His cost about $20. That's the Does difference. it really? Oh, yeah. Well, what, what, and trust me, Kenny will be giving you the bill. This is my welcome back to the show meal. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? All right. <laughs> yeah. that subject. Why, why did Bobby, I want to know why Bobby got a cheaper omelet. Bob, go. All right. No, just spit yeah. And he spit in food my, back into his in food. My, that's fucking gross. Look, it's like the, the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh, my head. Do you know what I do with my tuna just... sometimes? Huh. Ah, God, Jimmy. Ah. I chew up tuna, and then I put it on my tuna, so I have a lot of tuna. <laughs> Jimmy chewed up his tuna sandwich, spit it on top of his sandwich, it was and some... then it just ate it. I'm that chewing that my cut. explains his fucking insect's body. It was almost acceptable, but there was chunks of pretzel it in it. Yeah, well, chunks, chunks of... I don't make it plural. It would have been funny. Yeah. Insects. Yeah. Insects. <laughs> like I'm possessing an, uh, the body of an insect, and I have it at home. We're going to take a short break. Oh, when we get back, to... the food will be done, and we're going to do what's the haps. Mm -hmm. What's the haps? With Sam and the Google phone. All right. Let's do that. All right. I like uh, that. Oh, Google Bob. I hate your guts, Jim Norton. Keep doing that for Jimmy today. Well, look, God, there was some kind of an I missed mention, too. I'm hoping we can get a hold of it. Another one? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. I hate your guts, Jim Norton. Keep Googling that today. Yep. Opie and Anthony. Uh, moving right along. We're in the middle of what's the haps. We got more foundry songs today? Maybe we'll rest that. Maybe do some more tomorrow. We got some uh, some big hitters in here today. Nick DiPaolo and uh, Robert Kelly. NickDip.com, mm -hmm. RobertKellyLive.com. Yes. All right, uh, Sam, what's the hap? So where were we? The Google phone? You went to Times Square? Yeah, because the Google phone came out today, and it, the big celebration, I guess, was at the T-Mobile store in Times Square. They Much were like the Apple store was the location of the big celebration for the um, introduction of the iPhone. Mm. A lines uh, the two two blocks long, city yeah. blocks. And you said oh. something yes, uh, a couple days ago about the economy, and I went to the Apple store just like you yeah. did. And you, you go in there and you realize, ah, the economy's just fine. You People think are there's buying, no buying, problem. buying, buying, buying. Yeah. That store is constantly full. And uh, Why is that? My iPod doesn't hold a fucking charge. <laughs> three fucking years ago. Cockfighter. They should just get into other businesses to save the economy because they know how to sell the tech stuff. You go down there and... Uh, they just got that, you know, the cattle line of people yeah. uh, waiting to ring out. Yeah. Free. And then other people just like, like Japanese tourists seem to want to go down there just to take pictures. Yeah, but they have a great thing. They scan you. They have computers, handhelds. Yeah, yeah they, they take you right off the go, line. It's like, like a, a, a tricorder. Yeah. Can't get the just, money fast enough. Well, why, wasn't I, right yeah. why wasn't I chosen to be taken off the line? Because you buy a computer? No, they, they, they look at you and then decide if uh, they should take you off the line or not. What, am I trying to get to a nightclub in L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they ask you what you what you get. They didn't ask me. That's what I'm getting at. They oh. asked like every other Did person Did you have anything in your hands? I had a few things, yeah. Oh. Maybe it wasn't, maybe wasn't I wasn't buying enough, enough or Wait, something. Yeah. I, mean, I was falling. 
All right, so the Google <laughs> phone. Well, they well well Sam, what what well, you yeah, tell us? Because I covered I'm a reporter uh, with something <laughs> called journalistic integrity. <laughs> Did you say uh, a reporter? Yeah, yeah. reporter. A reporter. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah, thought so. Yeah. Yeah, he and is. So, so Nick he is. No, oh, I covered sure. the iPhone release, went down and talked to some of the people online. I recall that. It would not have been fair. You won the uh, Pulitzer Prize for that, didn't you? <laughs> no, but I was nominated. <laughs> a Cleo. <laughs> a Cleo. Do you know a Uma Pujaragio? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know all their names. Yeah. Very good. That's a tough one to pronounce. I can't pronounce that yeah. one yet. She's a nice lady. Uh, okay, so. right. but yeah, but it, Back to Brian Williams. Go ahead. It would not have been fair... <laughs> To not also cover the release and the, you know, celebration of yes. the Google phone. No, Mac. the iPhone killer, my We're friend. We're celebrating the, phones. What the, the iPhone fuck? killer. Yeah. What Where kind of phone we? you got, Nick? I got a nice black rotary phone. Works perfect. <laughs> Twelve-foot extension cord. My, my career's hopping. <laughs> this is me calling my agent. <laughs> 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 that's like I just did. That's Damn, that's really multi-talented. That brought me right back. <laughs> sure did. To Dad ripping it off the wall and throwing it. Oh, oh, yeah. it oh, oh. Christ! Dad loved throwing things. Yeah. Holy shit! The phone, the spaghetti. Ixnay, I'm throwing stuff. He like huh? put the, he 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 put <laughs> the spaghetti on the wall. <laughs> And then put took the phone off the wall. What? <laughs> he just didn't know what he was doing. Oh, the Wait, spaghetti your dad used to yank phones out of the wall. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> wow, nice. Go oh, fuck is it anything that I was sticking that. out or or something would be punched or thrown on the floor or broken. Yeah. It was like waking up and just going, okay, let's, uh, let's survey the damage uh, today from the uh, last night's argument that I sat there in bed crying over and didn't get to sleep. I I woke up for school like I wake up for this show. I felt like I, w I was like eight years old, but I felt hungover and tired, <laughs> just like I do when I come here. <laughs> I got a good joke. Well, your dad sounds like a real bull in a china shop. <laughs> uh oh, Jimmy. Oh. It's not funny, Jim. <laughs> New character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was always just some kind of, you know, you wake up and go, okay, there's some broken glass, watch out for that. Here's this. Is, is Smokey still alive, or did Dad, like, you know, kick the cat? Mm. There's a, there's worry, a just... handful of mummy's hair on the kitchen floor. Yeah, mummy's hair is on the floor. <laughs> One day, I just remember her, like, uh, uh, in the walk-in closet. She was like, like... Cause she she wanted she used like the tactics of the three hundred. <laughs> she was she was thinking if I go in a place that's a narrow pass, I could defend myself no matter how what he lo lobs at me. So she's in there, oh and I just God. remember hearing, "Get out of here, fuck face! Get out of here, you fuck face!" And she called him fuck face so many times that it was just like it was too, as a kid. I'm just going, she's using that way too much. She's a, a cursing hack. <laughs> fuck face, <laughs> and then uh, fuck face like left. God forbid, she, the, you know she doesn't have improv skills as things are being whipped at her head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can bob get and right, weave. I'll hey, tell you that. Get her into Second City. With her. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just always some, blah, 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 blah. and it would start out like we'd go to, we'd get sent to bed. It was in some shithole apartment in Central Islip. And we'd get sent to bed, so I'd be laying in bed, and, and you'd hear outside just kind of this low... <laughs> and it's like through the walls, and then, and then I'm like... And then I try, I got his stomach ache to try to make him stop. Oh, oh my god, this is breaking my heart. Oh, dude, god. I was the biggest little pussy fucking just cry baby. Oh, what was the initial? My brother would take it differently. He'd go, he'd wait until they were in another room fighting, open up the liquor cabinet, and take a swig of Jack at like nine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. He, you know, it's a good opportunity to get uh, a buzz on. Now, there was a time they were in love, so where did this all begin? <laughs> I wouldn't remember it. You don't remember them nope. ever being nice to each other and then nope. love? Nope. Not a second They're do I remember. They're still together, right? Oh, yeah, the, the ma marriage that lasted, uh, yeah, 50 years. Sure. No. God. <laughs> so far. First of all, the second my father did leave, yes. he went to the furthest point 
without falling into the opposite ocean. On uh, he went all the way to <laughs> Dana Point, California. California, yeah. It was like as far as you can go and stay dry and not have to like take a ship. They're both living in uh, lighthouses on different coasts. Yeah, <laughs> mom moved into you know the Montauk lighthouse. <laughs> it was just there was a, just a you can't even say a dislike of this or that. It was a hatred. Did he ever hit you? Isn't it funny? No, that no, you liked I, each other. Dad, hit, my dad is smacked me once, but that was when I was in California. I was like 14 or so, 13, and uh, I had taken a bunch of quarters, uh, that, uh, th and I think they were silver quarters, like these old-time quarters that, who knows, now they'd be worth like fucking 28 cents. Who cares? But I was fucking starving constantly. Dad wasn't too responsible with feeding the kids. So I was just starving constantly. Jesus Christ, who's your old man, Tyson? Oh, he was, he was just like, he just wanted to go out to California and be a cowboy. So he <laughs> he went out, he bought horses, uh, figured out ways to board them for free from talking to people. He was a great, my father could fucking swindle people. Really good at it. So uh, he bought a horse, got him, you know, people to board it for nothing. He was, was like the caretaker of this property. He never took care of. He just put free shit on there all the time. Horses, they were grazing on, on other people's fucking grass and shit. <laughs> he, he didn't care. So, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, as far as jobs went, he was constantly unemployed and, and bitching about the economy, but everyone else was working. And him and his buddy Chato would sit there <laughs> drinking tall boys when I came home from school. I'd walk to the stables, and there he is, drinking a tall boy, and he's like, oh, no, job hunting today, I oh, guess. Well, right. So I'm, just, like, fucking starving. His, his wife, uh, it wasn't his wife at the time, his girlfriend, uh, Corey, she was, you know, just the same, but she's working at some five and dime, barely making any money. I lost her, though, You, but you guys lived on a ranch? Or? It was like, yeah, yeah, it was a... Uh, but you had no money. No, we lived in a, a condo complex this. that was close to the ranch. The ranch wasn't like a ranch like the fucking Ponderosa. It was, you know, it was a hillside with <laughs> some horses and a trailer on it. But who owned that? Uh, Will Rogers. Because you guys were there all the time. The, the Who owned the property? Yeah. San Juan Capistrano. Also, the, anyone the, the could town. go there. And my father talked to the town and said, you need a caretaker here because motorcyclists are coming and cutting fences and stuff. And they said, all right, you want to do it? He's like, yeah, I'll do it for free if you let me board my horses. Oh, so he was a care. Oh, wow, okay. But he didn't take oh. care of anything. Right, right. He just, you know, kind of hung out. So, um... I stole these quarters because I was starving and went to, I remember I went to Thrifty Drug and Discount Store, nice. which they have out there, and bought a uh, nutritious box of ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I ate every single one of them. And uh, uh, I did have a job earlier, and that's the money I used to buy, like, my model rockets and things like that. Uh, but my father was like, you took the quarters, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. And uh, he goes, why? And I told him, I, go, I, I said, I was starving starving i bought something to eat and he smacks me in the face and goes no you bought your goddamn fucking rockets with you with it didn't you and i'm like i'm sitting there going i'm being smacked because i was starving because you're drinking a tall boy instead of fucking buying some food oh my god oh it was horrid you gotta make a movie and then i would take the bottles at uh, uh the vons that was there they had a big cage, a, cha a chain link fence cage, mm -hmm. where they uh, would take the depositable bottles back, and then they'd put them in this big chain link cage behind the store until whoever came to take them away took them away. I would climb the fence, grab the bottles, bring them right back around front, and give them the depositable bottles My that were in the scam. cage, so I could then, like you know, it. buy more ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> the one thing I and have, a triple, Jesus a triple Christ. scoop ice cream from Dr Thrifty Jeez. Drug and Discount now, Store. By the way, people say five cents a scoop. It's like the modern day Pe Oliver. Oh, yeah. it was horrid. People, I was. People are saying this isn't a, a bit anymore. It's a nightmare because we've heard the spaghetti hitting the wall too many times at this point. But you you always give more info. Oh, there's a little and more info every time the, when I remember some one, fucking synapse connects in my head. Now I go, oh, I remember that fucking piece of shit from my youth. Now your dad was scared shitless that you were going to turn out gay. But uh, how, yeah, yeah. But how yeah. did he? Because I was associate, always a crybaby. Cry but how did he associate some of these uh, things you were doing <laughs> as maybe becoming gay? Because <laughs> I would cry at everything. 
I was like, eh. but, but like, like building like little model rockets and stuff, and and because I wasn't fucking girls. No, but then I was he, building he was building rockets. the model. He was but you were eleven model. or twelve. Hope he's building the model yeah, rockets. No, he's, 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 he's I, sitting on them. I yeah, yeah, shoot it up yeah. in my ass. I set yeah. it up horizontally yeah. and get yeah. on all yes. fours. Yeah, he left that part out of the story. And he put two eggs on each side and then yeah. shoot it into his own face. Yeah, yeah. And go, look, Daddy, you'll come. <laughs> <laughs> he used to say I was in man training. He called it. He goes. That's part of man training. All right, here's a rifle and one bullet. Go out and hunt. But you and if you don't get something, you just don't eat the for the night. Fuck Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ! But it's a but, shame. Like it, fucking Paul Ingalls. But Ann, it's, 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 it's a shame because you could have been like a rocket scientist or something. You had like you had like yeah. major skills as a little kid, and he didn't see it that way. He oh, said, like fuck no. that. I need my son fucking and drinking and what was uh, the skill? I he got, was just putting rockets together. You weren't yeah, fucking yeah, building. No, but rockets. he was real rockets. Retards do that, dude. Glue. And right, no. thank you, Bobby. <laughs> SD's Bob, rockets? You gotta yeah. know, yeah, Bobby, you got to know the rockets. whole catalog so of stories he's told over the years. Like, I got the kid was ahead of ahead of everybody else at, in his age group. He was a very smart kid. I was but, at all, but the not, dad, that the, but the dad didn't want anything to do with that crap. He didn't like like faggy stuff. Like, like you were, guys crying for me to cry was like ridiculous. And I was a big crybaby. I, I went into a horse show once. Took my horse, Nightmare. And uh, uh, the horse's name was called Nightmare. <laughs> Fucking big arch in its back. And, and I was doing a cloverleaf barrel racing thing at a horse show. Is that kind of faggy? No, no, that's like... I don't know. I it's Jim ask. Canna. It's like fucking... It's pretty good well, shit. Were you, you riding know? side saddle? <laughs> side saddle with a dress. Did you have a cape? Sequin <laughs> <laughs> sports coat? <laughs> you have to, you know, really tightly go around the barrels, <laughs> these three barrels in a cloverleaf pattern, mm. and then shoot through the timing You poles. could do that shit? Oh, yeah. You right now you the, think you could? Fuck yeah. Holy. Holy That's like riding shit. a bike. What the fuck, dude? Guys get a house full of guns. He used to ride horses. What yeah. the fuck's going on? And when I, yeah. lo I lost by like a couple of tenths of a second, so and what did I do? Take a while. You cried. <laughs> you cried. <laughs> Knock it off. And then I got a cramp in my leg once mm -hmm. and started like, um, I grabbed my leg and just screamed bloody murder. And my father's like, he goes, next time you scream like that, you better have a fucking arrow in your chest. Oh, God. And by the way, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Oh, yeah, he didn't. What's your mother's name? Me. Libya? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not like riding a bike, by the way. No? No, because when the bike goes comes in first, you don't suck the kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Uh, of course I do. Dude, Poor stick. What the fuck, <laughs> man? Uh, oh, it's just one of those things. I, I don't. It explains a lot. And then driving with them, I, I've told that story where it was like there's a, a thing called the Ortega Highway. It was it, sh it this should be in any fucking movie where something plunges off a cliff and explodes after falling thousands of feet. Oh, Jesus. It was the road from Capistrano to Lake Elsinore, and he, he used to drive it every so often. And when I drove with him, I was the most nervous wreck. He'd drive with cores, just a can of cores between his legs, and a six pack or two six packs in a bag on the seat and just constantly be drinking. When we got to Lake Elsinore, he's drinking and then the ride back, all I'd remember is <laughs> on a curvy looking, road near a, a curvy cliff. cliff road that you'd always hear about people dying on. And, and we'd be there just like nailing the edge as these giant con rock cement trucks are coming down the other way and I was just Right. I was scared shitless that every time we hit a light yeah. and had to stop, it was one moment where I could go and just breathe. And then the second the light turned green, I was like all tense again <laughs> and, and <laughs> you were nervous Jesus. for two hours straight you of just prick. nerves like you, a chihuahua. You were like Woody Allen in Annie Hall with Christopher Walken driving Dude. the car. Just <laughs> <laughs> you got another It was right. horrific, yeah. that drive, in an old Ford pickup truck. Like everyone else had like... A, a pickup that was at least like 1970, something like had that. Power steering. And the, yeah, he had like a '66 Ford pickup truck where like the it had the fender wells on the outside of the bed, <laughs> and it was all rounded and curved. And he was constantly drilling holes in the engines and running tubes because the oil wasn't getting to a <laughs> cylinder or something. And one time they shut the electricity off. Of course, he didn't pay the bill. He pulled the meter off and jumped the insulators that the electric company put on to, to cut your uh, electricity off and just stuck two wires in there, jumped the meter, put the meter back on, nice. and we were getting power without the meter spinning. So he had some positives. He had some skills as far as <laughs> getting shit paid, like not paying for shit. Pat from Monarchy writes, too bad good old dad didn't live long enough to see Ed become a LARPer. 
Ah, <laughs> yes. Wow. What uh, he would, what he life, he would he knew I was playing that. EverQuest. Oh, wow. What are you doing that? Fuck men, men computer <laughs> people things? Yes, that's, yeah, that's exactly. what I'm doing. If, yeah, he was, if he was alive, I might have just gone gay to fucking like give him a little <laughs> twist, a little screw. <laughs> might have to, I might have had to get my dick sucked by that Richard kid in the tree fort. How did you not kiss that fucking kid? He was gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Look, boy. Do you have a picture, Richard, to show Bobby? you have a picture of a kid that you, that you could well, have blown? My, my sister said, no, I wasn't going to blow him. He wanted to blow me in it's the tree fort. We were sleeping, I was sleeping out at the ranch one night. And we, me and my brother and stuff had built this tree fort. Yeah. So we were sleeping out, me and Richard. I had known Richard for years. We'd go fishing together and, and riding horses and shit. He was my, my best friend. Right. He wanted to catch a mouthful of tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy yeah. Gills. Yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Gills. Not talking about hooking any Tommy Gills. <laughs> talking about sharking. I'm talking about working for a living. Talking about felching for a living. <laughs> felching. <laughs> Squeeze my balls. Tie my dick into a sheep shank. Chief, so man, you, you tell me how short you wanted it. So you you were in a, you're in a tree floor with him? A shot glass full of cum. Don't drink that. Here's the swimming with bow-legged men. Yeah. Show me the way to go, homo. <laughs> I'm tired and I want to give a guy head. I think we're gonna I'll drink a... to your penis, you drink to mine. <laughs> <laughs> gonna need a bigger cock. Ah, you that was that the, tattoo. That was the USSS goo governor. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve fags this, in the water. Yeah. Twelve fags. This Mr. Hooper was one of Rosie O'Donnell's fag cruises. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that terrible high pitch screaming and hollering. Someone's getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> Sheets filled with blood. You go in the water. Dick's in the water. <laughs> Our dick. Well, three days in. I don't want to open that shark. pops up. A friend of mine from a gay bar. <laughs> Popped up ass first. Herbie Handling. <laughs> yeah. He'd been fucked in the mouth and the ass. <laughs> I don't want to open up that shark and have a whole bunch of semen spill out all over the neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we took that one and ran it. Yeah, we Holy certainly shit. did. Ice. Look, fellas, let's be reasonable. Let's not suck each other's dicks right here on the dock. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> Those bathhouses will stay open for the 4th of July. <laughs> Martin, my boyfriend was on that beach too. <laughs> 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 Uh, sign the marriage certificate. <laughs> sign it, Mayor. You know what's the thing to do. Uh oh, we're losing Angel. She doesn't uh, know Jaws. Oh, Angel. She's putting on a little, little yeah. lip stuff. You look like Chrissy that gets eaten at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky shark. Yeah, she really like Harry Chrissy Bush. Yeah. yeah. Shark was picking hairs out of his teeth. <laughs> I know. He was just <laughs> coughing <laughs> under the head. That's what fucking Quint was holding on to to try not to get into the mouth. Yeah. Chrissy's pubic hairs. <laughs> <laughs> Fish is like, this tastes like myself. <laughs> I'm never going to get the smell out of me. <laughs> that old gag. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, no, Richard was, uh, you know. Hot. Wow. Yeah, right well, we had the, uh, well, well I, that's how it started, the tree fort thing and the uh, thing he wanted to, you know. We were friends. We used to do a lot, you know, hang out. And then uh, we decided, oh, yeah, well, let's just hang out. We'll spend the night. We'll have a sleep out at the tree fort at right. the uh, the ranch. And I was sleeping there. Uh, uh, we're hanging out, drinking a few beers and stuff, which I guess loosened them up. Thirty-one. Uh, <laughs> Thirty-one. Uh, no, uh, 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 fourteen. Fourteen. Maybe, Perfect. maybe bordering on fifteen. Very I close. I think to you were a little younger. Yeah, maybe eight. <laughs> and uh, so we're hanging out, and I'm kind of just sleeping at this point, or, or trying to go to sleep. And Richard leans over. What'd at this you have point. on? I had everything on, my jeans, my everything. All right. I'm sleeping in my clothes. Okay. So uh, Richard leans over to my ear and goes, can I suck your cock? <laughs> nice. Out of nowhere. Wait, how, close to, nice. how close to your ear was he? Enough where I felt his warm, oh. could have had chlorine oh. breath. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and he asked me that. So I, I like, I was <laughs> turned around. Ten minutes. I had jeans on, <laughs> thank God, because I was turned around with my ass facing him. Then you my you my face was facing, <laughs> yeah, like fucking broke back <laughs> mountain. Broke back tree fort. I've been waiting for years. <laughs> Fuck that ass. So I'm looking at the uh, the wall of the tree fort. Yeah. And my, uh, my eyes are like fucking open. I'm like, did I just fucking hear that? And it, just in case I didn't, he repeated it. He goes, How do we... I, I want to suck your cock. 
Oh, he didn't ask. He, he said he no, wants to. No, no, he to. said he wants so, to. Right. So I then... Um, Sucked his cock. Uh, yeah, I like <laughs> to suck my dick. Fat, huge snake. And, and, that, and that, no, no, uh, I, I lay there and just kind of went like... Your dick got hard? You pretended you were I made asleep? make-believe sleepy <laughs> snort. He's not a, <laughs> he's not a bear. A shemp? He's I, not uh, a bear. Quit <laughs> 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 You pulled the shemp? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I feel that was my only defense possum? against oh. the male homo who okay. gets to play okay. possum. Yeah. Oh, play oh, dead right. and he won't blow you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much uh, what it was. And uh, the next morning was a little awkward. I you know, I was so. like, oh, rise and shine. It's yeah, 4.30 was, in the morning. I think i got to go home. Uh, yeah, I made I make believe I may believe I was asleep the whole time. So he, did he know you heard him? How was he the next morning? Uh, I think he was a little uh, he was, awkward about the whole thing, but I think he he turned over and I think he jerked off out the fucking door of the tree fort. Wait, do we, would he do it in your name? Yeah, <laughs> well, you see his, he you wrote see his, he wrote Anthony's name in his cum. <laughs> That's what I cum said. Yes. Why do you think right. that? Uh, because I could I could see hear. a squirrel with cum all over. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear it, and uh, you know, kind of the tree Wait, the ah, tree was swaying was you, a little was you, bit. Ew. Was your underwear sticking to like, your ass? Shuk, 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 shuk. Wild, I was wearing clothing, Bobby Kelly. <laughs> wildlife was losing weight rapidly. Fucking. And that, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was it was one of those situations where yeah, the next morning was a little awkward. Why didn't you cry? Um, you cried at everything. I didn't, that's a, that's no, where you should have been crying. At that point, I had gotten over my crying. He needed phase. to love. I had manned somebody up. loved him. See, as you, didn't I even think about, you didn't even think about it. No, I I was get, already getting laid from the time I was like thirteen. Guy? Yes, by this other gentleman. <laughs> what was by uh, Buzz? You don't want to cheat on by him? Buzz Christine. Her name was what Chris. Was, what was your relationship with your dad uh, at the end of his life? Uh, We've heard good. all these stories, but no, pretty good. It, he he totally mellowed with age. He wound up getting a pretty successful uh, welding business uh, that he had, so he was able to take trips, went to Hawaii and stuff like that, and buy buy new trucks, uh, welding rigs. He had, got a lot of contracts in Capistrano. He's a survivor. Um, the guy's a survivor. And stuff. So yeah, he was, yeah, well, he was <laughs> until his ticker stopped. <laughs> oh, when was that? <laughs> Survived that one that back know. in like uh, ninety. Four, four, something like that. Oh, so he was a quitter. Yeah, yeah. I had the yeah he, he gave up. <laughs> he finally just gave up. But it was it was just one of those situations where it was just always this turmoil going I'm, on. I want to see this kid that uh, wanted what, to see Richard. Where are, right, where's Richard? Why do you want to see this kid so you bad, Bobby? You can't not want where's to where's the him? gorgeous Richard? You pull your dick out. Look at the picture. Is he as cute really? as Sam? Uh, he makes Sam look like a fat chick. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it was awful going out, like hanging out with him, going out to the mall or something, because every girl was all over this fucking kid. And I was sitting there with, like, fucking cystic acne all over my face and fucking, <laughs> you know, just smelling like horse shit because I had just cleaned the stables and... Like I was just a wreck. Just write a book, will you? I had to fucking. I had to get a sense of humor. I had to, <laughs> or my dick would fucking never have gone into a girl ever. Oh my god! I would have. I would have fucking. If I had no sense of humor, I'd have taken that blowjob in a second. <laughs> would you what? suck? Yes, yeah, suck my cock, please. <laughs> Somebody, I didn't know what he was anyone. gonna say. <laughs> he was gonna say, you know, could I? Did you guys suck on a fucking Jolly Rancher you have? And I'm gonna be like, what about my cock? <laughs> A That's cock. not good fun. A <laughs> cock. <laughs> yeah, I know. Believe me, I have a, a fucking ten books what is this in guy? just my my childhood. Funny shit. It's yeah. insanity. It's what time went to start on? Writing. My mother finally, when I w decided to come out back out to New York, my mother sent my father money for plane fare. My father cashed in the tickets and puts his kid, who <sighs> is fucking like fourteen years old, and bus. his other kid fifteen, on a Greyhound ah! fucking bus. We spent. Two weeks going cross country with ma male hookers, fucking degenerates, all kinds of shit, and, and gave us a hundred dollars for a two week trip to go cross country, which we promptly tried to double in Vegas. Which you wasted on the male hookers an hour into the well, the male hooker, because then I was thinking, man, a blowjob sounds like pretty good. Keep the in a treehouse. And then Joe had tie stick that he was bringing back, and then when we stopped at the uh, port authority, a cop instantly took us thinking we were runaways, so we had some chick from. Um, where the hell was she from? I don't even remember, but she went and took the bag. There he is. No way. That's young Richard. That's what? when he was older. That's after I left. He was like, it's I like think, eight, he 18 accent? there. He was a model. Yeah, and uh, why and a just... beard for Christy McNichol, sure, by the way. You had a blowjob oh, right? from Yeah, they used to go why out like that. Why would you take head from him? He probably gives great head. You probably would. Why Jesus would Christ, what kind of show am I on here? He <laughs> went... <laughs> and then he went completely gay. We're talking about... 
And he's dead now from AIDS. Well, yo, you can tell this by his hair. He's dead? <laughs> he's dead, yeah. Shit, you got no shot. Yeah, but you had him buff. before he had AIDS. Yeah, I know, right? You had a nice fresh meat. I knew him right, fresh meat. Yeah, before. Uh, he probably got it like, he was probably the first one. Like yeah. someone fucked he got a, a monkey, he got and then Paul he fucked Lim. him. Yeah. Paul Lynn. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hey, Richard. When they thought it was cancer. When did he die? Oh, my God. How long ago did he, he die? He died in like 2000. I didn't even know until like fucking two years he ago. He died. Shh. I said, so how's Richard? Yeah, and, uh, well, oh, well, yeah, let me yeah, tell you about that. Yeah. If you want a blowjob now, it's going to be a little bony. <laughs> it's going to be a toothy one. It's not even gay. <laughs> oh, my God. Like fucking the shit that falls on you out of caves in every Spielberg movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope his parents aren't listening. Uh, no. Oh, I think they're probably no. not too proud they're anyway. They're around with the same glasses Woody Allen's parents wore and take the money and run the fake nose. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I an adventure. Smoking. So, with that set up, uh, what's the half? Sam? <laughs> yes. I don't even know how we got there again. Sam it always goes to my almost blowjob in a fucking tree fort. I know, the regret. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> go to the tree fort. <laughs> but every time Anthony tells a story, he gets closer to telling the real truth. And that's no, what I like no. about the, the retelling of the story. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to be like, all right, uh, so perhaps we learned today a, that he did if he wasn't such a good friend <laughs> at the <laughs> time. <laughs> you know, if it was just some anonymous you, cute you guy. He's a good friend. You just have a similar story from. College, you just didn't college. The guy pretended he was sleeping. God <laughs> 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 damn, Norm. I'm too tired. <laughs> I can't even defend even yourself. Uh, he just wow. didn't want to take head off him. No, my roommate, my roommate used to do acid, and he climbed <laughs> in my bed one night and was kissing my back. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and I push him on the floor. <laughs> Almost got a fist fight with him, and we were like great friends and stuff. He got, I mean, and he wasn't. This guy banged every broad on the campus. Wow, he's like real good looking. <laughs> he must have been hallucinating. Right, and he, yeah, I mean, he like loved his crazy. acid and shit, and uh, and the, but I didn't talk to him for a couple months. I was so yeah, furious. You have to. And we're living in the same dorm room. That's not that's not too fucking awkward, <laughs> is it? But uh, it's all smooth over now. Oh, good. Yeah. Glad yeah, to hear it. That's all, you know, forgotten about, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> forget about it. Forget yeah, if you want to see him, I got him, I got him uh, pictures of him in MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sam, what's the hap? So the Google phone, you went down there and you talked to people online. Before we start, did we all hear Ari Gold uh, sent a shout-out my way on Entourage this week? Yeah, everyone's talking about that. Uh, she said, what's the hap really? on Entourage? And they I don't watch there. that shitty show. They think well, that you're uh, being ripped take off. Take it easy, turtle. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what, what's the setup here, Sam? <laughs> well, I went down to give the uh, Google phone equal coverage that I gave the iPhone, and because yeah, I am be biased, because I am the reporter that I am, I talked to every single person on that line just oh, for the OB and Anthony that, show. That, all, Jap all Japanese teenagers. <laughs> How many people, Sam? <laughs> Three. People. Three, three. Okay, this people. is the iPhone killer, by yes. the way. Yeah, the this iPhone is the one killer that's got gonna... three people to wait online. Me oh. and Tamson Fidel, we're interviewing three people. All right, we start with Anna. Anna, she's number All right, one. We're here at the Google phone line with Anna. Anna, what's the haps? Um, well, basically the phone. Um, the point that it's touch screen and it has the the keyboard. So you're first online. How long have you been here? I've been here since. Like an hour and a half ago. So it's at about 4.30 or so? Yeah. What are some of the features of this phone that you're looking forward to? Want to help give um, me a personality? That's it. <laughs> the I think they got touch screen She's on iPhones too, the don't same. they? Yeah. And you can, like, it's more, I don't know. More I just cheap. heard a lot of reviews on it. They do. And like it's a... more, like, open to more apps. Oh really? <laughs> it's open to more apps. Wow, this uh, it's so this phone's gonna be hot. Maybe yeah. she just pronounced apps wrong. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> yes. It's being sold in another part of New York. <laughs> you know what? Here's the problem with it. Uh, -huh. uh here's the problem. <laughs> T-Mobile. Nobody wants fucking T-Mobile. Hook it up with Verizon. Like, BlackBerry has the touch coming out in December. Then why all the people online, Jimmy? 
Yeah. Oh, boy. And the media attention. A lot of people... Uh, Times Square was a buzz Times this morning. Square was you a can't buzz. even say tens of people. People no. buy them because they're afraid they're not going to have something that everybody else has. Yeah. That's yes. the fucking bottom line. That's what drives this whole fucking insanity. I call it keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow, Jimmy. The Jim Joneses. Exactly. I have one senator to keep coming up. <laughs> have some Kool-Aid. That's all that is about. That's all it's mean? a fucking about. Uh, I got a regular <laughs> shitty cell phone. It works just fine. That's all you need. Plus, this chick... Well, showed like up the guys that flew over Jonestown and thought they were having a picnic. Yo, yeah, look, they're all lying down hugging each other for three straight days without moving. <laughs> oh, there's flies relaxing on them. flies at this picnic. Yeah, yeah. anybody have any off down there? <laughs> <laughs> they're all hugging each other. <laughs> Waiting for the big Kool-Aid guy to run through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Kool-Aid. Once we're stepping in fucking rotting bodies. <laughs> big fat and jolly That would be a funny visual, wouldn't it? Uh, the Kool-Aid uh, smile uh, running uh, through dead bodies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We uh, have more from Anna. She, oh, Anna. She's happy that she's, what, waiting on the party line? It's got buttons on it. Well, yeah, Anna showed up at 4.30 to get this phone that obviously she has no idea anything about it. Yeah. Proving my point. Yeah. What time is the store opening? At 8. Do you think you probably would have been better served just coming at 8 and just buying it? No. Why not, come? stupid? I don't know. I, I like the excitement. I'm just exactly. waiting here, being cold. It's fun. See? It's, we're done. It does kind of seem lady. like a party here. How long thing. did it take for the <laughs> second person? <laughs> fucking oh, Sam, hold on. Listen to this cocksucker, yeah, know, Sam. That's... He's like, yeah, it really is like a party here. <laughs> it gets hard to look at like, people like six inches away from them. It's not a long... You being are cold. so sarcastic. It does kind of seem like a party here. How long did it take for the <laughs> second person to get here? <laughs> the second one. <laughs> they just got here, actually. So it's just kind of been you standing outside in the cold for about two hours? Yeah, two hours. Cold. Why would you, after 15 minutes, <laughs> you would go, you know cold. what, this is a bust, I'll just come back and eat. I could come yeah, back when, it, go to when a the Starbucks store opens. for a few hours. Somewhere she, warm. Generation of shitheads. Stupid. She's never been the first. Yep. She's never been the first for anything. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. That's what this is about. I was the first one to buy that Google phone She'll in New York. She'll tell everyone that. And no though. one will care. No one will no. care. Except for the guy who who drills his fist in her gold teeth and <laughs> takes it. <laughs> <laughs> one guy will fucking knock out her tooth with a fucking diamond in it and <laughs> fucking take, take her Google her, phone. Of her hat your, and her phone. Yes, because he'll be think your, it's a goggle phone and try to wear it in the pool. <laughs> It'll be her <your> boyfriend. <laughs> The T-Mobile store was also bringing out like massive plates of pastries and muffins and like well, big coffee oh, machines for the crowd. Fucking! I was a crowd of three. They yeah, was... fucking thought this was going to be like <laughs> the iPhone where uh, yeah. around the block. Good. Please tell me they hired security. Did they of course, security? They had, all the staff was there. They had, it was five thirty in the morning, and all the T-Mobile shirts were on. Everybody setting up the store, blowing up balloons. Did they have little banners, those lame Jesus banners. Yes, right. the, the, blown in the wind, and no one's there. Dude, to that is it. fan. Fantastic. Yep. They go, Thank can we God. cancel those hundred peaches and just get a six-inch uh, tuna? Pickles? <laughs> yeah. One six-inch six tuna. Put it to three. Uh, Call yeah. it a morning. It's a a fucking, red rope. No, no one can afford a new phone. The economy stinks. What a bad time Even for a, the Google phone. They should have delayed it. Uh, but it was not. It didn't no have excitement. What do you it's, mean? They could have worked it into the marketing. Now you can yeah. put your fucking stockbroker on. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's well, the, the iPhone thing, killer. The thing Apple uh, and Steve Jobs knows how to do. It's like build Sorry, excitement yes. before the product comes out. He goes up. He gets on stage. He's in front of that giant screen that's irradiating him to death, and he he can point shit out and just show like these features, and everyone gets it's so fucking hyped and excited. That they, yeah, when he goes, frrr, frrr. Uh, oh, what is it, Jimmy? Uh, right, when you're scrolling. Uh, and, and he builds excitement that way, that people go, I want this, I want this, I gotta have it. They didn't do shit with the Google phone. It yeah, was like on fucking, it was on MSNBC's, like, the, the financial report, they'd show it. No, no excitement. Anna was all about it, though. Oh, okay. What about George? George was, George was about it, too. I is, is would like to buy this phone. Yes. <laughs> stories. Well, it's, it's a future. F yeah, we know. You know, know what would have been a great fucking way to do it, man? You fucking show a commercial where a guy walks in with the Google phone and there's confetti all over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be ex that's exciting. Sure it is. Yeah. Like, where, what happened? I I hate your guts, Jim Norton. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like a and name for a book. book. Right. It's not. It's, uh, I hate you or something. Oh, all right. I hate everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I hate. Um, 
something. There is a time constraint, gentlemen. Uh, we both agreed to our Oh, uh, shut uh, up, uh, McGurk. Uh, you uh, jerk. Uh, we have really a time. I already mentioned it earlier, though. Somebody said that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's that? Uh, the Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Norton's book is a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackass. What's the title? Some Something stupid. Uh, five after the hour. I miss him in the morning. morning. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you Guess just say? nothing done. Oh, they cut him off so quick. Let's <laughs> uh, let's meet George. <laughs> yeah, George is... All right, we're on the uh, Google phone line with George. George, what's the haps? The second of three people. Just waiting for the phone to see if it's good as they say it is. The good thing about it is that it has a keyboard to go with the touchscreen, a thing that the... The iPhone doesn't have. No, my I iPhone and my hat in touch. Wow. Here I go. Here I go. I go like this. Wow. And hey, there's my touchscreen fucking uh, keyboard. There we go. Thank you. Blackberry, Jim. Oh fuck! And I could text like a motherfucker on this. A virtual keyboard is still a keyboard. It's a keyboard. Uh, mm -hmm. How come you think there Human aren't more than tactile. three people online for the keyboard? Yeah, I'm pretty shocked about that because I heard in California some girl waited seven hours to get her phone. So that's what no, that was to get her tits. Take it out. Seven hours. Shut up. When did when did you leave this morning, or when did you get up this morning? I got up at three. Ugh, I changed wow. planes in Cleveland. I think you probably you kind of regret getting up at three. That maybe you probably could have come here at like. Noon and still gotten <laughs> one. So I noon. thought there was gonna be a whole line here. Just did like you? Why how is they that? Said in California, you fell for the hype, you ignorant but fuck. We'll see. But hey, you get to be the third person in New York to have the Google phone. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Do you think this one's gonna be the iPhone killer? In some ways, it is. Like the keyboard, for example. All right, with your keyboard. You Jesus Christ! Well, I know three keyboard. people who won't be getting an the iPhone. Fuck, buy a piano, you jerk. Oh, well, yeah. there's three people. He goes, so there's three people that won't be getting an iPhone. They sold their ten millionth iPhone three months early ahead of schedule. Oh, we're losing a share well, of the market. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I gotta hear that again. Well, I know three people who won't be getting an iPhone. <laughs> Smart <laughs> ass! Did you look in the camera. And you say are that? a douche. <laughs> I love it. Nice subtle tone. Oh, I know. Oh, it's perfect. He is, he's right just, in the eye. He is fucking making morons of these people, and they don't even. And know they it. love him. They were all right next to each other too, so the pr people could hear. Like the second person could hear the interview I did with the first person, and they all still accepted they still to, do wanted to be interviewed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was interview. <laughs> Online? Were you? By who? I don't know. He has a question. He has some fine hair, though. <laughs> You're going to get punched. One day I will. Yeah. I know I will. One yeah. good punch. Uh, uh, rosy red nose to go with those cheeks. <laughs> the last person great. online, Ow. like Sam said, he talked to everybody online, is Josh. Josh. We've heard two-thirds two -thirds of the line so Of far. the Google line. Okay. And this is Josh, the last one. All right. We're on the Google phone line with Josh. Josh, what's the haps? <laughs> I'm online for a phone. Did you wait online for the iPhone? Yeah. What are you going to do with a Google phone if you already have an iPhone? I work for a technology company, and uh, usually I get one of everything, so the executives get it after me, and I know how to answer their questions. What possessed you to uh, wait online for it instead of just coming when the store opened? Because every activation takes, like, maybe 15 minutes, so <laughs> there's 10 people online. Whoa. I'm here till 9 or 10 in the morning. But wouldn't it have been more pleasant to wait for an hour in the sunlight than wait for an hour at 5 o'clock in the morning? Uh, yeah, yeah, except if they run out of inventory, then uh, I have to wait a few weeks. What do they have, four Yeah, but they probably hand? got more than three phones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it worked out. Wow, but, Josh is sharp as a tack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking sad, though. I think they have more than three phones, you and they're asshole. Not, they're not even standing in line. They're standing on Again, triangle just what they yeah. with three people. Yeah. Yeah. So they can, <laughs> yeah, so they can talk yeah. to each other. The whole line's talking to each yeah. other. Yeah, Josh is trying to cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> Cut, double cut. Uh, I'm not going to wait ten minutes. <laughs> Dink. They were oh. all behind a red rope that had plenty more rope behind it. <laughs> like, there's lots oh. of space. Oh. Did you get pictures of this? That's that perfect. No, I should have. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. And finally, Josh uh, ends with this. Uh, in California, I read there were several dozen people that went to get the phone, so I figured there'd be at least several dozen here. But You can get the West Coast people to buy basically anything. <laughs> that might be true. But I guess you can find three people to buy pretty much anything here, too, right? Oh. Yeah, probably. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, Josh. <laughs> oh, they don't even know. They that. don't know he's that, insulting right. them. Because I look at them in the eye and smile. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like we're friends. Of course. Oh, you a dick. <laughs>
Josh, how's it feel to be the third of three assholes? Yes. Yeah. this phone. <laughs> fucking jerk off. Uh, pretty Google good. Phone. It's all right, I guess. Yeah. Well, good job, Sam. Yeah. And in California, it took this woman uh, seven hours. She, <laughs> she lived in fucking Barstow. Yeah, yeah. Bitch she, in Fresno. She fucking hitchhiked <laughs> from Chico. Yeah, Chico. Chico. Yeah, yeah. I heard you can play solitaire on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking great. It's great. It's no Pac Man, right? Yeah, yeah this one has uh, Pac Man and Google Pac-Man. Maps. Mine oh, Hunter. Great. I can go back to 1978. Google Maps. Oh. Gonna play Pong on this one, too? Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> I think I could get Google Maps. I so think I can get Pac-Man. Has, yeah. <laughs> this one has Street View Google Maps. Oh. I can zoom on my ex-girlfriend's house. Right. No. No. All right, let's go around the horn. RobertKellyLive.com, Wilbur Theater, Friday. Friday, yes, Friday night. And Chicopee Mass, Saturday night, but who gives a shit about that? Oh, let's, is that Chinese restaurant still there? Ugh, have you done uh, <laughs> Let's get that Wilbur Theater filled. Yeah, Wilbur Theater. Poe, I need the truck. Poe, I need the truck. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy, uh, pre-order I Hate Your Guts on Amazon. It's moving up the charts. And keep Googling I Hate Your Guts Jim Norton today. Don't add the today. I Hate Your Guts Jim Norton. Google that. Okay. And NickDip.com has got a couple dates. NickDip.com. Yeah. John, sign up on my forum, too, will you? We can talk. Oh, it. But, uh, yeah, November 28th at uh, Terry Tom Music Hall, the night after Thanksgiving. And, and the brokerage. In, uh, and the brokerage this weekend. That's a good idea, actually. All right. But we'll continue.